All right, I guess now you have sound, right? Is the sound working now? I, I guess so, right? Let me know if you have any problem. Am I heard? Mayday, mayday. How do you do? You hear me? Not a good start, huh? I mean, we do not know what to do. Yeah, not a good start. Anyway, uh, so anyway, I was saying, I received an email and uh, for somebody saying, uh, he think that there is a good reason for somebody to convert to Islam. And I think that this person is a Muslim himself. And I said, uh, give me a good reason. And then, you know, he did not answer back. So I said, I said to myself, I think I should help him to find the good reasons. And obviously, you know, there's many good reasons for anyone to convert to Islam. Just think about it. Uh, and I will try to be a little bit polite to speak about the good reasoning. There is a hadith about the description of women who will be waiting for me if I join, like now, jihad for Palestine or for Allah uh, to fight the Jews. Uh, this hadith, actually, I find it very, very interesting. And actually, maybe this is one of uh, the most important uh, reference for why somebody should convert to Islam. You know, just think about it. As uh, Joe Biden, he says. And I'm trying not to go out of the line and speak of something not right. I mean, but what we can say, I mean, the topic is dirty and Muhammad is very dirty. Uh, let me see if I can you know as usual Muslims they have many interpretation for the same story but I will go for all interpretation so when they ask Muhammad about the description of uh, the virgins who will wait for the Muslims who die for the sake of Allah, one of the hadith says that Shifru al hawra bi manzilati jinah nasr Shifr, if I go right now and search for the word Shifr in Google, I will find that right away you will find videos in YouTube made by Muslims. And here there's a towel. And I think you know what, uh, what is shafr present. So simply, they are talking about the clitoris of the vagina. And Muhammad describing the shafr. Now some Muslims they say this is not about the vagina, this is about the eyelashes. But everybody knows that shafr has nothing to do with eyelashes. So the hadith says that the women in heaven who Allah, he made for a Muslim, she will have a shafar, which is in the size of wings of an eagle. As we see here, the hadith saying, reported from, 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 from Ibn Umar, قال, the clitoris of the women is longer than the wings of the eagle. Uh, some Muslims they say that this is about her eyelashes, but you know, eyelashes is not shafar, something different. If we go before that, you will see actually let me let me use Google translation to translate this page. Give me a second. I'm just trying to help this Abdul to tell him why somebody should convert to Islam, as he said. There's many reasons. Obviously, Islam is coming from a true God. 
So uh, if we read here just a little bit of uh, how Muhammad tried to convert people who they are uneducated, stupid, you know, ignorant, savage, horny, a dreamer, you know, losers. This is a dream of a loser. All this, uh, those hadith here in front of us is a description for the women who they are waiting for you when you die. Uh, and how they uh, how they look like and what they do uh, there is many things like this one we mentioned before that the the marrow of their bones will be uh, like you see the marrow of their bones and you can see through their 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 uh, uh, their faces let me use google translation so we can read together in english in the same time uh, i will post the link i will make it short I will make short link for it and I post it for you. But first let us go and make a Google translation. Translate. Translate full page. All right. So as you see, this is a description this is the book of Imam al suyuti very famous man. And here he's describing, let me see first if you guys can see the whole page correctly. Give me a second. All right. <coughs> Here you find the method how to convert anyone. He is, uh, you know, anyone, he's a dreamer, he's like drugs. You know, drugs, why people take drugs? Because they feel happy and they have a, a, a promise feeling, like, you know, something new, something, uh, they escape reality. So Muhammad is trying simply to make people escape reality. So here he, he speaks that those who they are believers, uh, they are safe from death and torment. Okay, what will happen? How you can be safe from death and torment? Because you are, you know, you do not know what are you waiting for. What is coming next is something very beautiful. Okay, sound good. What is that? What is we are waiting for? Here you will see, speaking speaking about the whore and speaking about their clothes, and they are versions. Those versions. Uh, uh, you know, uh, they have very beautiful eyes, translation is not correct, and you can see from behind their clothes, which is very sexy, you know, as you know, like sexy and you know it. And uh, you can see uh, through their bones, uh, through their skin, uh, they will be like a mirror, you know. So all those descriptions, their skin is very pretty white women. And then you are safe from death because this is what is coming for you. Death means mean nothing. What death? And those uh, whore, description for them that they don't die, they have no disease, and uh, you know, and, and those men who uh, believe in Islam too, uh, they will have all those things we see in the front of us. Uh, The most important uh, part of the story here and why uh, somebody want to believe in this, you know, if you are a person uh, who is uh, having education, like as an example, we have many uh, in YouTube, people who claim that they are defending Islam. Like, uh, uh, you know, some people have education like Muhammad Hijab. But Muhammad Hijab will not go and die for the sake of Allah. He will not join the Mujahideen. He will not join Hamas. He will not join ISIS, he will not join Al-Qaeda, he will not do anything. And he live in the land which now support in Israel. And they claim that like, they are worried about being caught Starbucks. But they live in the land, the government of it literally support Israel and arming them. So why those people who they have little education, let us say they are smarter than the rest. They don't want to go and do jihad because simply they are not convinced with all those stories. So why they are defending Islam? It's a business. You see, you will notice that not a single one from those who claim to believe 
they are educated and they go and join a, a, a fight to death. You will find that the one who do that usually, like if you go and see Hamas, Hamas, the educated ones, they live in a fancy life. They don't go and uh, carry guns and, you know, they are leaders and they hide and they make a lot of money, uh, billions of dollars. But are they going to go and, and fight by, by their own? No. Are they going to send their kids? No. Why? Because simply, who is going to believe in this? Only people who have no education, they are losers. Somebody is so desperate with his life, he cannot make any kind of success. And the description of, uh, of the women, the more we read about them, uh, the more you know, you will feel how, uh, uh, how silly, how stupid the promise is. Nothing there make, make any sense. Uh, like one of the examples, it says here, that if a, one of the whore, uh, if, you, if you suck her tongue, her saliva is like honey. In the top of that, if she spit in the ocean, if she spit in the ocean, and the, there are seven oceans, she will make the seven oceans sweet. Let us see if we arrive to this part where I speak about the saliva. Uh, here I speak about saliva, but translation is coming not good. Here we go. If Hawra, which means the Hawr, spit in a very muddy, mer like a crazy ocean, the sea will be like, uh, let us say, changed, the, the, the structures of it will change from salty to very sweet because her saliva will change the whole ocean just to spit. She did not even pee yet. You know, this is just her spit. And here you ask, I don't know, is the, is the image coming good to you guys? Is the size fine? You can read? Or it's too small? I think you can read it. Let me try to zoom out. Okay, what about now? I think now is better. So as soon the women, she spit in the ocean, and this is an ocean. Uh, the ocean will become so sweet. There's different hadith says, if she spit in seven oceans, just one spit. And imagine if she pee, what will happen? She will make it like honey. So Muhammad is not saving any way, any method to fool people and make it, like even the women, she is created from what? She is not created from mud like us. Those women, they are created from musk and zafaran. You know zafaran? Anyone knows what zafaran is? Oh, zafaran, you know, English as they say. So those women are not created like us from mud and dust and, you know, no. They are created from musk and zafaran. And if you suck their saliva, you will go, you will faint because it's so tasty. And when she spit, the funny, by the way, Muhammad said in the hadith that they don't spit. Here she says, if she spit, she will make the ocean sweet. Uh, here it says, uh, look at the description. <coughs> Let us go down a little bit. <coughs> uh, page number 291, I think, yeah. Okay, if, if one of those versions, she put her hand, just her palm hand, between the sky and the earth, she will make all creatures in the world in love with her. The translation here, let us see. Um, okay, maybe here. Ah, what happened? Translation is not able to continue. Mm, okay, let's go to page number 91, 291. All right, here we go, it says, if a Hawra, which means the virgin, uh, who have very beautiful eyes, according to the Muslim understanding, had put uh, out her palm hand, this is the palm of hand, between the sky and the earth, creatures will be 
mesmerized by their beauty. Like the, the, everything will be captured. She will capture just her hand. So imagine if she show her ass or something else. This is just a hand. Look what will happen. The whole universe will, will be captured by, by her beauty. This is how so beautiful they are. And then if you think about the, you know, like uh, uh, if she exposed some of her skin or her breast or her chest or her ass or anything, just uh, or, or half of her hand, if she exposed it to the sun, hmm, or like expose, expose it to, to, to be seen, uh, the, the, the brightness of the sun will be like a, a little candle, you know? As you see here, translation says, uh, the sun would be like a wick of, uh, compared to the hair light, the light coming from her skin. So how bright the sun is, she is, the sun is nothing compared to her, will be like little, little wick or candle, like, you know, tiny, uh, dark room. This is how bad the sun will be. And this is how bright those women they are. Same for their face. If she expose her face, she will light all the earth and the heaven, like how many stars we have, how many, all the heaven will be lightened by her, you know? Uh, and what about her smell? The smell of those women can be, you can smell it from a distance of 500 years. Let us see where it says that. Huh. It smell, the, the, the swimming the smell, uh, the very good smell, amazing smell of the Hori can be, the translation is not accurate, can be, you can able to hear, you know, to, sorry, to smell it from a distance of 500 years. And this is a little, little of description of the virgins in the heaven. So the Muslim who asked me, why you think there's no many reasons or you know the many, the reasons for to convert to Islam? He's, he's claiming there's many reasons. Well, if there is a good reason your God have, he will not mention those reasons. Because none of those is a good reason to convert to Islam. Those are reasons for somebody you promise him porn. And nobody saw them, and this is just talk, talk is cheap. So what is the reason to convert to Islam? And those are stories doesn't make any sense. How big her clitoris, like the other hadith says, her ass is one mile, uh, you know, uh, very stupid, very crazy. And then the Muslims, when they found that those stories are not working, because those are mentioned in the old days, in the time of Muhammad. So the Muslims now, they knew that those promises are silly, stupid. So what we do? So they start making videos and articles about, uh, you know, Quran and science. Because today anyone read those things will be laughing at Islam. So now we don't we cannot use those things. We have to have a different marketing plan. And the new marketing plan is Islam and science. Islam is solution. Islam is a, a, a lifestyle. Uh, so they switch. You see how, how, how Islam is switch? From speaking about the size of her vagina, the size of her ass, the size of her boobs, uh, uh, the, the saliva of the women, uh, when when she have orgasm, like you know, uh, like as an example, this hadith says, uh, a man he will just sit, just to talk, you know, like enjoying talking to those beautiful women. He lay he he lay down in the uh, let us say couch, and seventy years will go by before he notice even he just said one word. Seventy years is gone. He didn't even notice, you know. So the strategy or the strategic with, uh, or method of converting people to Islam since Muhammad, it was based on fantasy and lies. And today nothing changed. So today those stories doesn't make sense, nobody listens to them. So what the Muslim did do? They switch to any world stories. Like what? You know, Quran and science, uh, Islam make you happy, uh, you know, uh, Islam have solution for your life problems. So they, they don't talk about, I, I never saw a one moderate Muslim, if we can call them, in YouTube speaking about the virgins. You don't. Now the Muslim, they speak about philosophy. They try to, might, to find the Quran to be a book of wisdom. But they don't mention this. 
So what happened? Because people today are more educated. Anyone have other question? So we can answer. I think this time is not good, so I will switch the time to make it different. Maybe like late at night, my time, or early morning, my time. We will see. Anyone have a question? As long as we don't have too many people watching, so we will not keep you for long. Any Muhammad and he find those reasons? Any reason, can you tell me, what is the reason for God to make such a promise? If God is real, real God will not say stupid things like, so what, you know, what, what do you mean like her, her, her clitoris is one uh, the size of a wing of an eagle? Or let us say even her eyelashes, what is that? What we are talking about? What, what do you mean I can see the marrow of her bones? Or her ass is one mile? Why all those who promises even are exist? You know, when God, he created Adam and Eve, it was Adam and Eve, just one male, one female. And now you want to convert me to a religion by promises, they sound so silly, so stupid. All the reasoning for this is what is uh, is uh, is uh, you know people who they have not no education they believe anything like in the old days if you said them any story about magic people will believe it and then now actually there's many people who believe in stupid things so the Muslims they switch their strategy from place to, uh, to place uh, depend who they speak to if you are a naive person. They speak to you in a naive language. Magic, superstition, you know, all, all, anything. The method is have to fit with the person. If you are a person who is educated, you go to school, you have a university degree. So now we will give you a video about scientific miracle in the Quran, which is proven to be accurate, which is absolutely false. And now even the Muslims, they agree that all those miracles are simply very, very stupid and they were a lie. Uh, zoom so we can read. Okay. Well, maybe we can do this. Hold on. If we... All right. Is that better now? I think that is better. Right? I think now you can see it better. So anyway... Uh, let me let me uh, pause for you the, this page and see if it work. Oh, the link is so long. YouTube did not allow it. All right, let's do this. Give me a second. Link shorten. All right. <clears throat> okay, you open this link and uh, don't forget to use Google browser so you can use Google translation. So, you know, what I, want, what I wanted from this video it's just to show you how you know how silly, how obvious Islam to be false. You know what the, what this is. You know women. You know this is why you believe in God. Because He will give you beautiful women. Are you a dog? Like you know, I will give you a candy, uh, uh, and and your saliva is running when you see the food. Is that why? Why? And what? What the? You know what? If I believe in such a God because He promised me virgins. What is, what, why I'm going to be rewarded anyway? I do not believe in him. I believe in the virgins. If the virgins are not important in my belief, he will not promise me those virgins. You know, if the God of Islam, he says, okay, whoever believes in me will live, like Jesus said. Whoever believes me and die will live. No virgin, no woman, no sex, no money, nothing. Here the reward is a real reward. Why? Because he really, he really believes for something totally clean, just a pure faith, 
not based on private part and sexual temptation and money because Muhammad he have tons of promise about money too like he will be ten times rich of any king in the world why, why what does that mean why I'm in heaven now and you are promising me I will be ten time uh, ten times more rich than any king in the earth what I would do with the money I thought I'm in heaven what does that mean So you will notice that Muhammad here, he is trying, uh, you know, like uh, people who, men who they are desperate, they, they are dreamers about, uh, it's like scammers, you know, they tell you, you want to invest, invest with us, and uh, we will make your money a hundred um, times more, and they give you even reward a little bit, so to make you believe that there is a reward is coming, they are doing great. You give them all your money and then they take it and they are in the run. And that's it. Bye bye. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, let us see this hadith here just to show you. The lowest of people of heaven in Islam. Look at this. Let me see. Hmm. So Muhammad here is speaking about the lowest among the inhabitants of paradise, the lowest of rank. And here you ask yourself why? I mean, there's ranks. Even in heaven, there's discrimination. There's ranks. Yeah, there is. I mean, either you deserve, you deserve to be in heaven or you don't. But ranks, okay. So he said, the person who would be admitted to paradise, the last among all those who deserve to, to go to paradise. So that this guy is the, in the last of the line. He is the worst. And then it would be said to him, enter paradise. He would say, O oh my Allah, how should I enter while the people have settled in their apartments? And taking their shares between the bracket portions it would be said to him would you be pleased if there is for you be for you like the kingdom of a king among the kings of the world mm -hmm. this is the last guy and they are negotiating with him do you like that to be like rich like a king what he have from among the king of the earth, he would say, Sure, I'm pleased, oh my Allah. And then Allah will say to him, For you like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. But what? So like he's multiplying now, you know, like like that and like that and like that. How many times? And then he say, uh, he keeps saying like uh, like that, like that, like that, and then he would say at the fifth point. Oh, the guy, he will say, hey, Allah, stop, please, 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 I'm so pleased. This is too much. Allah, what are you doing? You know, like, what? Are you, you know, and then Allah will say, no, 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 hold on, hold on. And then Allah, he will say, oh, my Lord, I'm pleased. Allah will say, it is for you. And ten time like it. And ten time like it. Uh, anyone he come here in the chat, he say, I am a Catholic, I am Protestant, I will block you. Just to let you know. So don't be stupid. I am a Catholic. I take offense. Yeah, you are a hero. Get out of here. And anyone want to tell me he is a Protestant too and he take offense so I can block him too? They are hero in chat. He's a Catholic. Idiot. Admin, please watch. Anyone who speak about Catholic or Protestant, block them immediately. You do not need my permission. We warned them many times, and they know what our rules here. Go wash dishes, Catholic. If you are a Catholic and you have faith, go do something 
Preach people, bring them to the gospel, believe in Jesus. But Catholic in the chat, you are nobody. There's a woman, you know, she's an old woman. Her name is Mother Teresa. She is a Catholic. Are you like her? Her shoe is better than you. They are proud about nothing. They did nothing in their life. They accomplished nothing in their life. They did not convert one person to Christianity. And they, they I'm Protestant. Yeah, right. What a big deal. Whew, that's deep. Do you come with zucchini or without zucchini? So those shallow people, you know, they don't count in Christianity. A true Christian, he don't even care for being Catholic or Protestant. A true Christian, he care for being true with Jesus. Bringing people to Christ, not to a church name. It's not, the church name will not save anyone, will not save you. We are saved by Christ, not by a bishop, not by the Pope, not by Protestant, not by Orthodox. So stop being stupid, silly. You look like 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 you know like a like a cockroach. And he think you know like I'm, I'm I'm an angel like you know, but you are a cockroach. Because you downgrade the name of faith or the faith of a Christ to be a name of a church. Where reality is true Christians. They fight for Christ to save people. They are, Christ do not need us. But you need, in order to be Christian, you need to work as a Christian. What did Jesus said to them, go and teach and preach. You don't go around and say, I'm a Catholic. You go say, hey, are you saved? Let us share the Bible with you. Hey, Muslims, you are being a fool. Muhammad cannot save you. Who care about saying I'm a Catholic? That's the best you can do. What else you can do besides being a Catholic? You take drugs or drink camel urine like Muhammad? You know, my, my advice for all Christians, we have, an, we have a disease between us. And that disease that we look at ourselves as a great people when we are great only only because of Christ. All of us, we are sinners. Being a Catholic doesn't make you a good person. And even being Christian doesn't make you a good person because none of us is good. A person who is so proud, he is no Christian. You can be proud, but not about yourself because you accomplished nothing. You hardly can save yourself. So you are proud about what? So if we are really people who believe in Christ, we should not mention the name of a church. I see many YouTubers and many people, I know their names, and I'm so disgusted by their work. They keep calling each other names. And look, the Muslim, they take advantage of that. And then they come to a Christian, hey, this look, look, Protestant to Catholic, what they are doing. Come, let me tell you about Muhammad. You go to heaven, you, you know, you have women waiting for you and their legs is up. The guy is naive, he is stupid, he is disgusted because of those people. He go and join Islam. There is many people, by the way, if they leave a Christianity, they leave it because of our priest. Our priest, who they are like Muhammad, doing business. They are so good in dividing us. They go and debate for 10 hours, calling each other names about, do we have a picture for Mary or we should not have a picture for Mary? Actually, in some time, they used to kill each other for, for such a thing. Imagine they wage war. Two armies killing each other and they claim to be Christians. How far they are from Christianity, you know the answer. So we don't want to be in like the Muslims, a bunch of fool and stupid. Don't think that you own salvation. Your church doesn't own salvation. They take one sentence, Jesus said. He said, hey, Peter, whatever you write here, whatever you tie here is tied in the sky. That's it. Everyone, everyone of them became Peter. <laughs> everyone became Peter. But remember, even Peter himself, in certain times, Jesus said to him, stay away from me, Satan. Even Peter is sinner. So don't be so proud. And Peter cannot save us too. 
he himself is saved by Jesus. We want the Christians, you will notice always, I'm trying to make the Christians understand that Christianity have nothing to do with the church names. None of them present Christianity. None. The only one present Christianity is Christ. No priest, no bishop, no pope, no Catholic, no Protestant, no Orthodox. You know, in the old days, when the Christians used to... Why, why the Christians, they were able to invite millions and millions of people and people, they joined the faith because they were the best ambassador, humble, poor, careless for money, careless for self, you know, uh, praised. Christianity went wrong place when we start building palaces and priests and bishops, they have a crown and there is gold and silver around their neck and they have big cross made of gold and people are dying from hunger. That is where Christianity is not Christianity no more. You will see those who bishops, they live in a very big fancy palaces. What does this have to do with Christ? When anybody can give me the address of the palace of Christ or the palace of Paul? I want to I wanna go and visit the palace of Paul. How many servants they used to have? How many, how many, how many guards? So, the true Christians is not those people. If they really want to serve Jesus, they go between the poor and the needy. They don't sit in chairs giving speeches about who go to heaven, who don't go to heaven. They don't spend money like the Muslims. They spend hundreds of millions of dollars to build a mosque. And then the Muslims are the most poor people in the world. They have all the money to build a mosque and cover it by gold and the floor by marble. But people die and they have no piece of bread to eat in many Islamic countries. Jesus warned us from hypocrite. When you pray, you go to your closet. Don't be like those who pray in the corners. So any priest, he acts against what the Bible teach, he is no priest. If he is humble, he don't work unless you pay him. That you know, if he humble, then he he will not seek payment. People give him no problem. I mean, everybody needs to pay for his bread. The sky is not sending bread down. We understand that. But he will receive support from people who because of their because they love what you do not because he asked for it. Most of those priests, they are like Muhammad. In order to meet them, you have to pay them. If you are rich, they meet you first. So remember one thing. We don't want to repeat the same stupid mistake the Muslim did do. Muhammad was a gang leader. And when a Christianity is going to be not Christianity no more, when our leaders are gang. So they launch war, against someone who is a Christian just because he didn't agree with them. Who in the world can believe that there is people who are faithful to God, they go and kill other Christians? Because, okay, I don't want to believe in the Pope. I don't care for him. Oh, I believe in Jesus. What's wrong with that? So, or the opposite. So true Christians is not the one who fight for position of control. Christianity never was a state. Jesus never came with a state. He never hired a minister. Peter was not a minister. He was not the minister of defense. He was not the minister of economy. He was not the minister of science. He was not the minister of education. He was just a humble man. Go and teach and preach. And when Jesus, he said to him, the promise about whatever you promise, whatever you tell people, because he is doing it in his name, that's all. That's the whole story. You just tell them what I said to you, Peter. Otherwise, Peter is not the one. He neither have the control of heaven or sky or what in earth or a salvation. It's just the promise of Jesus. So, either always we are people who follow God or we will be like Muhammad. Look at this. Promising people, if you believe, 
we will give you, you know, like, you know, a, a priest, he will fool people. He says, I can give you a paper if you give me money. This is today. Today you buy your salvation. Today, donate for us. You will notice that everybody go on YouTube before they start talking about their program. Give us, donate to us, subscribe to us. Don't forget to click the link. This, they have to say all those things. The reason is very simple because the topic is not really important. What is important is what I will get from the topic, not the topic itself. So the first thing they do is donate. If Super Chat disappear, they don't even come to YouTube no more. It doesn't matter if it's Muslim or Christian, by the way, both are the same. There's many Christians are like that, there's many Muslims like that. Just cut the money, nobody will care to come and speak about God or to defend what his faith is. It's about money. Uh, we have more important topic, Christina, from IDF now. Leave Hamad leaders to IDF. I mean, how I will know how long they will catch them. Somebody told you I am in charge of the Department of Intelligence in Israel. I have no idea. Focus with us. So, when the Lord, he says, from their fruits, you shall know them. That is the way to know where we should go. It's not a pope, it's not a priest, it's not a bishop. Go and look at their life. Do they live like Jesus? Or they are people who live a fancy life. Do they wash feet of their servants? Or they have servants washing their laundry and they bring them the coffee and the tea and they call them your excellency. Was Jesus called excellency? If somebody can show me that word in the Bible, let me know. Who is the excellency? What are you talking about? Jesus himself, he washed their feet. When they refused, he said, if you don't let me do it, I don't know me. I, I, that's it. That is the Messiah. In order to be master, you have to be servant. That's what Jesus said. So now, I want people to listen carefully. You see how Muhammad is trying to tempt people by money? That is Satan. But Satan, he come to our church too. And he used men who love money or even sex to take advantage of the naive ones so he can conquer the church, destroy it, and make it look evil. He succeeds sometimes, he fails sometimes. But he cannot succeed all the time. Why? Because always there is true Christians who fight against Satan and they will not fail to his trap. All right? Uh, you know, when the Bible says, uh, let him be cursed, anyone bring other than the scriptures. The scriptures is not just written, uh, you know, words in a book. No, scriptures is what, you know, uh, what, what God words about, the fruit of God, the, the logic of God, the understanding, the loving, the giving. So if you come with the scripture saying, oh, you have to serve me in order to go to God, who are you? Jesus himself, he served us. You have to die for me in order to go to heaven. Who are you? Jesus himself, he died for us. So the second you see someone, he claimed to be a leader or trying to be a leader, he wants you to die for him, he's false. He wants he, he want you to be serving him, he's false. Because of Christ himself, he never did so. He don't want people to serve him, even though he is the king of kings. He is the servant. He came to save us. So always be aware of false people and they promise you money. And as you see, look, 10 times, like you want to be 10 times more king, more rich than any king in this earth. The guy like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So when a Muslim he will hear this, he will say, wow, look at me. I have a hole in my, in, in, in my pajama. And now the lowest of the lowest of the lowest in heaven he will have all of this, and Allah is even giving him more and more and more. I want to be a Muslim. Do you understand why a person will be a Muslim? If you are a person who worship money and God, 
you will become Muslim. If you are a person who worship gold and silver, why God, he promised me a house made of a brick, one brick of gold and one brick of silver. What is that? Even it's ugly. Right? What about the one need to give? In, in, it's not about you need to give. You see, you don't give because you need to give. You give because the Bible says, uh, uh, like, which mean, like, the reason for it, work or faith without work is a dead faith. Faith without work is a dead faith. So you don't need to give, but you give because you're a Christian. It's come like automatic, like, do you tell the tree to bring fruit? No, the tree will make fruit. But the Bible says, a tree without fruit will be cut off. Why will be cut off? Because fruitless. So it doesn't matter how green your leaves is, how big your tree is, but you feed nobody from it. They will cut it and use it for fire or furniture. But a tree making a fruit, nobody will cut it. It feed them. It's a source of life. So, uh, you as a Christian, you don't, get, like, you know, I have my link for donation here. Do I say to you, go and donate? My videos are for free. You watch them on YouTube or you watch them in Patreon. It's the same. They are open for everybody. You go in Patreon, you will see everybody have a membership, right? So in order to see, in order to open this video, you have to donate, etc. There's, there's level two membership. I will never do that. Because that is a business. That is the one, it's a business for the one have money. Which means, if you cannot afford it, get lost. If you are poor, sorry, this is for the rich. We are here to make videos for the rich. If you like to watch, if you have money, you go there, you click at the video, it's not allowed to see, but you have to pay first. That is exactly a fraud. Why I call it a fraud, even though it's legal fraud? Because simply you are making the person believe that you are a good person and you are serving God. And now you are trying to help him, but you cannot help him unless he pay you. But this can be true if this business has nothing to do with God. A godly person, he will help people, they are poor or rich. And then if somebody give, okay, he's giving it from his heart, not because you force him. Uh, all what we see in the front of us, all those false promises, is about money. What? I will be 10 times more rich than any king, yet I am in paradise. And where, what I will do with the time, 10 times rich in paradise? I mean, there's no death, there's no illness, there's no uh, hunger. So, what exactly 10 times rich than any king will mean? What does that mean? If we could reduce Islam to zero, aren't we then reducing the return of Jesus? My friend, the, the earth is full of garbage. It's not only Islam. Islam the only problem. Islam one of many problems. You see, Satan has many faces. Many faces. And even some of them, they are, look nice. Like, you know, he can be a peaceful guy. He don't teach violence. You know, hippie, but still satanic. <laughs> you know, sex a group, uh, a bunch of male and female live together. They want to have sex and have fun, play music. Their hair is long. You know, it's very, very peaceful. But still, it's satanic. So it's not just violence and Islam. Satan, he take all forms to get all customers. You know, there's customers who don't like war. We get them. There's customers who love war. We get them too. There's a customers who like, uh, you know, uh, to be part of gang. That's even better. So there's uh, people like uh, to prostitution. Oh, wonderful, no problem. So he changed 
let us say, the, the scheme he have to get the, the food. But don't think Islam is the only problem. And the coming of Jesus is, is, is going to happen sooner or later. The world is getting more and more corrupt. And morality is dying slowly, slowly, maybe fast too. Uh, you know, like uh, uh, these days, you know, doing bad is, do, is doing good. And doing good is bad. Like now, if I speak about homosexuality, YouTube will censor my video, right? Uh, so now we are in a time where speaking about something we believe it's bad, is a, uh, you punish for it. So we are back <coughs> to the time of uh, uh, our uh, church father, where they used to be killed, tortured, for saying what is right. Just, just for that, they are not. So, morality go up, morality go down, morality demolished, morality is going down to zero, a Christ is coming. There is no question about it. <coughs> All right. Any other question? Anyone want to be ten times more king, rich than any king in the world? And you are the last one who enter heaven? Which means you did not do jihad yet. You did not do join Hamas. Satan, he come in many forms. Satan, I believe, he come to us in a form of a priest too. So he divide us and we kill each other. And this is what we saw for centuries between Christians, sadly. The one who decides the other one is heretic, we kill him. Very simple. And we claim that we are people of God. So Jesus, he came with love and mercy, and now we kill the one who loved Jesus. Or because he don't like icons, or maybe he don't agree with me. Uh, all of those are just, uh, you know, satanic. And now you will notice that the same priest from all churches, I'm not speaking about one church, in the old days, they used to go aggressive, they want to go to war. Today what? Today they are easy with homosexuality. They are easy with the sleeping around. They are easy, it's easy, you know, like, easy teasy. It's just, uh, you know. But the second you say Catholic or Protestant, they are so hard. They are so tough and heroes. You know what I mean? Yeah, you will not go to heaven. We are the one who will go to heaven. Yeah, you know. So, they don't speak against what make you go to hell, for real. They go mute about it. They silence. They act as they know nothing about it. They heard nothing. But, the second you name a church, different church, they are already active in active duty for war. You go to their church, you say, what do you think about Islam, sir? Oh, Islam, uh, you know, God love everybody and we love Muslims. So I'm not asking you, you hate Muslims. I did not ask you to hate them. I'm asking you, what do you think about Islam? Well, you know, I believe that's God. You know, as you know, the Bible says, God, you know, he loved the world. So he said his only begotten son. So we love the Muslims. Sir, listen, I'm not asking you to hate the Muslims. I'm asking you, what do you think about Did I say Muslims? I say Islam, Islam. Islam is religion. Muslims are human. So what do you think about Islam? Okay, well, you know, they are Abrahamic. Here we go. Right away, suddenly they are Abrahamic. And they believe in the same God. And here you know that this guy is an idiot. He is no Christian. He does not even know what the Bible is teaching. He does not know what he's talking about. He does not know the topic. And he's trying to answer you. So, if your teacher is an idiot, what the student would be? Right? And this is what happened when our churches, they are full of idiots. How many times we hear a day from the churches that uh, Muhammad is from Ishmael? Where, where are you get this from? Show me. Who want to show me the verse in the Bible that says Muhammad from Ishmael? Where do you get that from? Almost in every church we hear the same thing. The Muslims are from Ishmael. 
the, the majority of the Muslims anyway, they are not even Arab. Same time, the Arab is not even one ethnic. Arab is many ethnic. Arab is just people who live in the desert. This is what Arab mean. It's an Aramaic word. Aram is a word mean hills. Arab is mean a word mean desert. So whoever live in the desert is an Arab. This is not an ethnic. <laughs> Don't you notice that those who they are called Arab, each one of them look different? Uh, right now, like if we look uh, uh, Egypt, it's called the Arab Republic of Egypt. What? This is Africa. How Africa is an Arab Republic of Egypt? How Syria is an Arab Republic of Syria? How Iraq is the Arab Republic of Iraq? You know, everybody is Arab, but they look different. The Saudi look different, Qatari look different, Bahrain look different, Yemen look different, everybody look different. So obviously they don't have the same ethnic. CP, I had read before that when someone is jealous of someone, he will usually criticize the person. That is what happening with you, CP. You are jealous of Islam. That is why you attack Islam. Okay, Mashir, I, I like what you are saying. Because you know, for, uh, you know what you just did? You proved to me that Muhammad is a bad person. Because if we open the Bible, we see, you know, Bible never mentioned Muhammad in any way. And it is your prophet, he was attacking the Christian in his time. So, if your prophet is the one who starts attacking the Christians, obviously he is jealous. This is what you said. This is your text. Let me show it to everybody. That is your text. Your God, he criticized the Christians, called them name, the Jews, pigs, monkeys, kuffar, najis, the worth of the creatures, uh, filthy, uh, liars. So you say the one who criticizes is the one who is jealous. Well, thank you very much. And obviously Muhammad is very jealous from Jesus. He wanted to replace him. All the names, all description given to Jesus, Muhammad, he stole them. He tried to give them to himself, starting with the name Muhammad, praised one. Who is the praised one? It must be God. If Muhammad is the praised one, that means he's God. You see how you know that somebody is a fraud? How Muhammad even accept to change his name to be the praised one? Right? Aren't you worried about Muslims going to hell? No, I'm not worried. Why would you be worried? Who cares? I mean, you go to hell, who cares? So what? It's your business. It's your choice. I will not worry even if, I'm my, if I have a son and he go to hell. Let him go to hell. He made a choice. I will cry for nobody. Nobody. You eat from the seed you planted. So why I will cry for you? And I'm not worried about you. Muslims, you will not go to heaven. And aren't you see? You will have a ten times more riches than any king in the world. Actually, it's not ten times. Ten times more than what he offered already. He says, like that, and like that, and like that, and like that, and like that. Which means takes ten x, x, the, x the, the five. This is fifty. So you go to hell, what's wrong with you? Why not? Good for you. I will not be upset, actually, if all Muslims go to hell. For us, you know, we don't invite people to go to hell. But if you insist, well, then go ahead. We tell you about Jesus. You accept, accept, you refuse, you refuse. You want to go to hell, go to hell. We believe in a freedom of speech, my friend. And the gate of hell is wide open for you. All right. And here, you know, you see how the Muslims, they play victims. Right away, they play victims. But the fact, Islam is a religion of uh, uh, victimizing. Like, the reward in the front of us, isn't it the reward of a victim, of a scam? Shouldn't the guy, he ask Allah, okay, Allah, listen, I will be 10 times more rich than any king, and then 50 times, more than 10 times. What I will do with the richness there? What exactly I will? If I am going to get free food, free housing, free women, 
and I live forever. I'm not getting sick, I'm not being getting cold, I'm not getting hot, I don't have disease. So what is 10 time rich mean? Hmm? Just tell me. Right? What is 10 times rich more? Nothing. It's a fraud. In fact, right now, I am a person, thank God, you know, God, uh, uh, He provides me and I'm fine, you know, I, I cannot complain. But if you say to me, I will make you 10 times rich, the first question I will ask myself, if the person is a good person, why he is focused? What about making me 10 times more happy? Well, how you know that I will be happy by being rich? Does that mean you are giving money so I can abuse people? Because this is what money does. When a human being, he becomes so rich, he abuses. He look at people down. Everybody opened the door for him. He hire maids and servants. He don't touch a door of a car. Uh, people have to open the door for him. Uh, people have to call him sir. Uh, he fire people. He hire people. He abuse. This is what rich people do. Rich people, uh, for sure not everybody, but I'm saying what money can do. Money can make you really an evil person. Taking advantage of people who they are needy. So, why any woman she wouldn't work as a servant for a human being? If it's charity, I understand. Like Jesus himself, he served, right? He washed the feet. That's Jesus. But not for money. But when a human being is in, in need, what he can do? He, she has children to feed. So what she do? A respected woman with good moral, she go and wipe the floor to other women in her house. Clean dishes for her. The women, she shout at her. Her kids are rude, taking advantage of her. All of this for what? Because simply, somebody taking advantage of her needs. So money, doesn't, and money doesn't make you rich, by the way. And don't think I am a person who re reject money. I need, I need money, you know, I, I can make my life easier. That is not what we are saying. But money does not make you rich. What makes you rich is you appreciate. Like all of us, we heard about those famous uh, uh, football players, right? Like uh, Mises. Uh, what is the other guy from Portugal? He is working now in Saudi Arabia. $500 million they pay him. Okay, but this guy, he have, I don't know, like $2 billion, $3 billion in his pocket already? Why you need more? What $500 million will do to you more? Do you understand what I'm saying? If you already have, you have billions, why you need, what a $500 million will do more to you? How that can help you, you know? Because they worship money. They are not, they are not a human no more. They are just for sale. So he's willing to work for the Arab, and they are not really, you know, human right is zero, countries, uh, uh, secret police, uh, uh, dictators. He's just for sale. They paid him money. He cannot resist because simply he worship money. But do he need money? He don't. But because he loves money, he will never be enough. So, if you go right now watch YouTube, you will see how many famous actors they are doing commercial, silly, candy, pizza, shoes, diaper, even for women, like, you know, for a period. Rich, you know, those are rich actors, but they love money. So they come to the same, hey, you know, you do a commercial for us, uh, five seconds, just five seconds, give you uh, half a million dollars. Uh, okay. I will go, what is the commercial about? It's about shampoo. Right? So, are they rich? No, they are poor. Because after all the money they made, they still 
they are so desperate to take a job which is silly stupid to make money. Right? Do you accept anyone to call you just the weak Muslim who don't know Islam well? I don't know, Mashir. I never, I never saw a Muslim he know Islam well. Do you know somebody, Mashir? Why you don't bring me the Muslim who know Islam very well? Even your prophet does not know Islam. Are you saying to me, I do accept call only from weak Muslims? Look like all Muslims are weak, because I don't know who's calling me, Mashir. I open my sky, people call me. Like, it's a, it's a Skype. You make a name, you call yourself Joe Biden, and you can call me. Still, I will not know who you are. So what do you mean, uh, only weak Muslims? I take them exam and say, hey, answer those questions and see if you pass. If you are weak, you, you know, you could talk to me. If you are strong, you don't. <laughs> That's a good one, Mashir. Mashir, are you sure you are a Muslim or you are paid by Christian Prince? Sound fishing because you say stupid things. Hmm. All right. Yeah, so the point is, as soon as you see money is involved, you know that God is not there. You know, money can be involved only if, let us say, there is, there is a reason for it. Like I said, we wanna, we wanna collect money to uh, feed the orphans, you know? Okay, well, we need money, that's it. I mean, we cannot feed orphans by talk. We cannot feed somebody poor by talking to the poor. Yeah, but uh, most of those people who do work, they are seeking money, not charity. And the second you see that, the second you see a promise, like uh, uh, if you donate, if I donate to orphan organization. Am I, am I going to heaven? No. What does it have to do with going to heaven? No, no, this is not. You see, if somebody tried to convince you that giving your money to me or my organization or my church will take you to heaven, that is a scam. It doesn't matter how much money you gave. That is not what make people go to heaven or you cannot bribe God. You go to heaven for your faith in Jesus and your fruit which is coming from that faith. Not because you made a donation. The fruit is, a, let us say, is the natural uh, act of yourself or in the behalf of yourself as a Christian but you are not doing good because doing good will take you to heaven but you do good for you are following the good God like the Bible says be holy like your father do we have any Muhammadan the love of money is the root of all kind of evil yeah, but you see, you notice there, it says the love of money, not the money. Money is, is nothing. Money has nothing to do with evil. It is in a love of material. So when you love material, you don't care for ethic. That's what the verse is saying. You don't see other things. You see only the material. The, the 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 physical material. <clears throat> Otherwise, money is not necessarily bad. Can we pay for a child surgery so he can live? Yeah. See what money can do. Is it true that we don't do surgery to him? He might die. Yes. Why we don't do surgery? Because we can't afford it. How many children they die every day? because their family cannot afford their medicine. It's a fact. 
And why children they die? Because somebody he loved the money, not because of the money. Somebody loved the money to the point will not do a surgery unless he get paid and make money. All right? So don't take the money as your enemy. Take the reason of the money. Why you do, what, what do you, what do you do with money? If, you know, money can reserve our dignity. If you are now, let us say you are a person who have a, a, a million dollar in your bank, and you wear dirty clothes, and you go to a hotel, what the security will do to you? If you look like, you know, someone very poor, they will kick you out. You are the same person who have a million dollar in the bank. Go back home, change your clothes, take a shower, wear a nice suit, go with your fancy car, stop in the front of the hotel. How many, the same security guy, who he just kicked you out, the minute ago, is going to open the door for you and he will say to you, welcome sir. He will open every door for you. If you have a luggage, he will carry them like a puppy. But he is the same person who did kick you out of the hotel just because of your appearance. So, you can be the same person and you can be rejected or accepted. Why? Because people, they worship money. If I go right now to a fancy restaurant and I sit at the table and I tell them I have no money before I eat, listen, feed me, I have no money. They will kick me out. Well, simple, you know, they will laugh at me, they will maybe beat me too. You know, why Why a businessman who they are rich, you see president, like uh, Prime Minister of India, he came to meet with Elon Musk. Okay, who is Elon Musk? Why, why, why do you want to meet with him? Because this guy is so rich. He can move the economy in the country. So he come to the whole country. He chose one person. There's 300 million in this country and more. One person, what's the difference between this person and the rest of the 300 millions? He's extremely rich and he have many, many, you know, companies. So he's treated differently because he is very rich. Not because he is a person who is smart, as a value, he is a, the guru, who teach ethic, no. He's just a businessman, rich man. So if our value based on the money and we allow them to be treating us based on the money, then we have no value in this earth. Because always there is somebody richer than me and I will never be satisfied. It doesn't matter how much money you make. Vivek is my next president. And is that insulting you? Maybe because he is an Indian, you, you think that will be an insult to me? No, that's maybe an insult to you. If he is a good guy, he's welcome, who cares? Our problem is not the name of the person. Our problem is that they are all corrupt. Who cares about the name? You know? Israel, they have a female woman. She doesn't even look good. She's not like as a female pretty. She look even, she have a structures of a man. But she was the best prime minister ever for Israel. She built Israel, a female. So if I want to choose a person based on a look or a name or ethnic, I will be a fool. As the Lord, he says, from their fruits you shall know them. Otherwise, the rest is not important. What we got from somebody, he is white, but he is corrupt, or a black, and he is corrupt, or an Indian, or corrupt. It doesn't, it doesn't change anything. Corrupt is corrupt. Garbage in, garbage out. So now, if we have a redhead president, and he is corrupt, does it make a difference if he is black? <laughs> in either way, you are screwed. <laughs> right? <clears throat> Uh, 
we we oppose corrupt men not names we support no names we support fr fruits of men so if a man he have a good fruit we say okay we vote for you that's all we, otherwise we do not know any of them do we and usually you vote for somebody you will not know until he uh, take the office and then we take the office either he you know damage everything you draw, dreamed of or he do good This verse is talking about false prophet. No, my friend, this verse is talking about good and bad. Even though it's mentioned there, it's speaking of false prophets, but this verse is about how you know false prophets because they have bad fruit. So, if they have good fruit, it's about good prophets. <laughs> Correct? So, how we know false gold? If we, if we have a method to find what is false gold, that means we know now how to find real gold. The same method. So don't think this is the method to find the false only. No, it is to find, actually the purpose of it is to find the real one. For now we have from their fruits, you will know them. If they are false, we know from their fruits. If they are good, we know from their fruits. We know what the verse is about. It's like saying, you know the good food from its taste, Huh? Or you can say the opposite. You can say, we know the bad food from its taste. Which means, if it doesn't taste bad, well, that means good food. So the same taste, the same, the same sentence is used to know what is good, not only what is bad. So a person who is a Christian, a true Christian, the Bible actually explained that, you know, says the faith without work is dead faith. Faith without work is a dead faith. So what does that mean? From their fruit you shall know them. If they claim they have faith, then what is your fruit? No, this is not only about false prophet. But anyway, you can take it as you wish. But uh, this is about the, the, the good and the bad. From their fruit you shall know them. How I know Jesus? From his fruit. Is he a false prophet? Isn't it Jesus says, any one of you can show me my sin? So what his, uh, was he, what his challenge is? Fruit. Show me my bad fruit. If he have bad fruit, he is no Jesus. Right? From their fruit you shall know them. And that goes even for Christ. Debate Sajjad, he has been waiting. Who, who is Sajjad? Are you there, Mr. Sajjad? You want to call me? Let us see. Let me open my Skype. I don't know. I, I don't know that Mr. Sajjad is here. Sorry for that. Okay, where is Sajjad? Sajjad? His name is Sajjad? Okay, text me in Skype, Sajjad. Go ahead. Uh, let us use this... Uh, just be sure that you have the correct Skype. Okay. Now, there's no need for drama. Who want to call me? This is my Skype. And my Skype is open. Just text me, Sajjad, and tell me I am Sajjad, and I will call you. Okay. Kabich. Here we go. This is my Skype. <clears throat> and now nobody will call. We know them. From their fruit, you shall know them. They make too much noise. They smoke a lot, but there's no fire. All right. Now you will see if Sajjad is real or not. You feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling okay. Why, why do you think I'm not feeling okay? Are you there, Mr. Sajjad? We were going. 
No, no need for this uh, noise. Really, you want to debate me? Are you sure? Just text me, my friend. As you see, this is I just posted you. My address in Skype, it's open. Now, Sajjad, he have to go and buy some grocery to his wife. Yeah. Who is behind the door of Allah? There is nothing behind the door. People will be screwed. This is a wallpaper. <laughs> what door? When Muhammad he went to seven heaven, there's angels behind the door. They said to Jibreel, who, who is this? He said, Jibreel. Have you ever heard of an angel? He did not know the sound of the boss. So Jibreel, he knocked at the door. He says to him, open the door. The angel, they say to him, who is this? He says, Jibreel, this is the boss. This is the boss. Uh, Sajid, your name is Abi. Your name is Sajad in the chat. In your name, in, in, uh, are you Abi? Sajad, are you AB? Just to know. So I will call you. Yeah, let us try. Hello? Hello? Yes, my friend, you are Sajad? Um, no, no, CP, uh, I'm not Sajad. Sorry, um, I was trying to contact you from a long time. Actually, I'm not a Muslim. Okay. Yeah, um, actually, I'm a Hindu by religion. Okay. Yeah, um, so actually, um, like, the thing is that, like, uh, um, I've been listening to you from uh, last few weeks. All right. Yeah, so um, from you, like, uh, I came to uh, know a lot about Jesus. Like, I need to ask you a few questions if you don't mind. Like, I do apologize, like, you've been, I was listening to your life. Okay, I'm listening. Go ahead. Yeah, um, the thing is, like, uh, um, I've been listening to you, so um, I was researching a lot about uh, Christianity. And uh, to be very honest, like, uh, um, I like your quotes, like, uh, from your fruits, you shall know them. And uh, uh, the way, like, you know, um, I've been researching about Jesus online and on YouTube. So I pray to him, like, you know, I'm, um, I'm very much into the faith, like I was following Hindu religion from a long time. But the thing is, like, since um, I started researching into Jesus, um, I, uh, I'm a keen follower now, you know, like, I started believing into him. Thing is, like, I just want to um, ask you, like, uh, I pray to the Lord, you know, like, when I was alone at my home, like, uh, if you really want me to believe in you, just give me a sign, you know. Okay. Um, give me some, some, some sort of sign that you are, you know. And, uh, you know, like, something really magical happened, like... Uh, um, I met few guys, you know, like even uh, within a week, I met like uh, two, um, a couple uh, twice or even three times. Like uh, today I see them again, like they give me a small pamphlet, you know, like uh, inviting me to, you know, read about the Jesus. So, yeah, I opened that website, you know, like I'm very confused about, you know, where should I start um, reading about Jesus, like uh, from the Old Testament or from the New Testament, like uh, uh, the Gospels, because there are a lot of books I'm, I'm very confused, you know, which one is to follow. What do you mean? Uh, like, um, like a lot of versions, you know, the New uh, King James... Uh, no, those, uh, are trans those are translation, you know, those translation. There's not, there's not mm -hmm. the version, the version is just a translation, doesn't, doesn't make any difference. Uh, but if you want, you can read the original one in the original language, Greek or Hebrew or Aramaic. Uh, you know, um, uh, I don't know. All so now, I, if I, I, my friend, if I if I now translate the Bible, uh, mm -hmm. and I call it the translation of Christian Prince, is that a new mm -hmm. is that a new Bible? No. Um. No. No. Actually. Um. Uh, sorry. I, I'm like uh, because I didn't know much about that, so I'm just asking like which one should I go for the um like the uh, um translation like which one is like most authentic? Well, I th I think right? the I think the best one is the one is called Aramaic Peshitta translation. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's more because it's using authentic words from the Aramaic language. And mm -hmm. they are, like, you know, as an example, when Jesus says, I am, uh, in the English translation, yes. Jesus says, I am. But in the Aramaic, yes. 
it's about I am the living God, not just I am. I am He. So yes. there's a big difference between saying just I am, because I can say I am, you can say I am, doesn't mean, but you know, in the Aramaic translation is taking the roots and uh, putting the original uh, meaning for the word, mm -hmm. where Jesus each yes. time He say I am, He is not just saying I am, He is saying I am the living God. I am He. So this is what, uh, what God, He says to Moses, you know, He said to him, what I will say to my people, what's your name? Yes. He said to him, I am what I am. So, yes. uh, 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 translation, as always, uh, can take some of the, let us say, uh, the treasure uh, of the meaning and uh, make it less uh, understood. And usually it's based in the skills of the translator. The translator, like now, I, my English is not so good. So if I try to translate mm -hmm. the Bible into English, the Bible will be affected by my translation, but it's not the Bible, the original one, it's the translation, it's my work. So, yes, yes. Because uh, I don't have the good skills, yes. you know, I, I could not really yeah. uh, uh, put the right words in the right place, and that will affect mm -hmm. the translation. At the same time, uh, even those who they are very good quality in tra translators, at the end of the day, they are a human, and they, uh, uh, you know, there's difference between understanding the language and understanding the belief. So if we're translating literally, like now, People here, as you see in the chat, some Christian says to me, oh, the verse you are quoting for us from Matthew, as an example, from their fruits, it says, yes. you, you will know them by their fruits. Say, they keep saying to me, look at them in the chat, many of them, they say, read the verse, read the verse, this is about false prophet. That is their, that's their, their false interpretation. It is about false prophet, but this is about good prophet too, because the false prophet, they will have false, by the fruit. So how we know the good prophet? From good fruit. So here we go, we have the same line, and they are Christian, I'm Christians, and yet they can't see that this is not only about a false prophet. You know, be aware of false prophet who come to you in a, in a sheep clothing, but in, in worldly, they are uh, uh, ravenous wolves. You will know them by their fruits, okay? The, mm -hmm. the appearance of the verse is about false prophet, but the fact, it's about good prophet too. So if they are, have, they are not, uh, wearing the clothes of a sheep and their wolf, then they are a good prophet, right? Yes. So now yes. the same phrase is for both. But look, the naive ones, they are stubborn. They say this is about false prophet, that's it. But that's false, mm -hmm. you know? How we know God, that God is, why, why we say God is good? Because he don't have bad fruits. Yes, you know? yes. Yeah, so you can be a person who is limited in your mind, uh, and uh, I don't want to use the word, you know, idiot, but this earth is full of them. Uh, or you can be a person who is, you know, think and read deeply. You know, the word of God is not a story you read about Mickey Mouse. This is very deep, de very deep word, will, will, will give you guidance. And this is what it's meant for. It's meant for guidance, not for speeches. And then, and you will notice here, if you go to the same verses they are talking about, you will see they, they ignore the verse after it says, a good tree cannot bear bad fruit. <laughs> Correct, guys? So they keep saying to me, oh, CP, this is just about false prophet, but they don't want to read the rest. A bad, a good tree cannot bear bad fruit. So this is not about bad prophet only, this is about bad and good. The bad give bad, the good give good. From their fruit you shall know them. If we open the verse, let me open it, hold on. Yeah, but you know, this, this is what they are. They are just a bunch of, uh, you know, stubborn people. And sometimes they want to show you that they are smart. Oh, we are smarter than you are. We're not here to challenge who is smarter. We are here to share the truth. And the truth will set you free. Here we go. This is the verse. Is it really only about the bad prophet? Or it's about good and bad? It's about good and bad. Read carefully. They read this part here. Be aware of false prophet. But they don't want to read the rest. Here you will see. Even so. Every good tree bear good fruit. So is it really about only bad prophets or this is about good, good prophet too? But a bad tree bear bad fruits. A good tree cannot bear bad fruit, nor can bad tree bear good fruit. Every tree that does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into fire. 
Therefore, by their fruit, you will know them. So do you see those a bunch of dummy who keep saying to me, CP, this verse is about bad prophet only. It's not. It's about both. How to recognize bad from good. But what you can say, you know, people, they never grow. They are like they have a brain of a, uh, of a, of a kid. But anyway, so I, did I help you? Uh, yes, uh, sure, CP. Um, I will um, start reading about Jesus and uh, uh, surely I will uh, maybe come back to you in a few weeks time if right. I have any questions. All right. If you have any question, I will be happy to help you. Yeah, thank you so much, CP. I do appreciate what you are doing All as right. a human being. All right. Thank you. God bless. Take care. You have and, and I hope soon we will hear good news from you about you accepting Christ and you are being yes, saved. Yes, sure. All right. And yes, remember, sure. this is for you, not for me. I don't know what I will get from you. I don't know you. You are, you know, you will believe or not. This is your business. You know, yes, it, yeah. it doesn't make any difference. There's billions of Christians, right? You know, almost three billions. But uh, are they really Christians? There's many of them. They are false by names too. So we don't want just one person. He call himself a Christian and he put a cross on his neck. The cross should be in your heart, in your life not in your neck. You can wear a cross, no problem. But yes. as the Bible we are reading now, from their fruits. So when you become a Christian, you are not making God gain. It's you who gain. It's you who win. It's your salvation. It's not a priest. It's not me. It's nobody. It's your own salvation. Same time, Christ, and you know, believing Christ will change your soul, the way you think, the way you act, and then you will become a good fruit from a good tree and then what will happen you will become an ambassador for your family and your neighbors and then the good tree which is you will bring more people which is good fruit of you to the Lord and then you will be highly appreciated the Lord he said that the happiness will be in the kingdom of the Father up in, the, in heaven for one soul is saved this is how much he cared for you Yes, yes. A human being, he don't care really. Human being, I just said to you, me, myself, I just said, oh, I don't care. You know, I mean, I'm a human. Okay, I will be saving myself. Uh, I, my duty is to tell you the truth. But am I going to cry for you not being saved? No, I will not. You know, because if I want to yes. cry, if I want to cry for everybody who's not being saved, I have to spend the whole life crying. You know. <laughs> what uh, I can yeah, do. absolutely. There are 7 billion people. Yeah. All right, my friend. Take care. God bless. Thank you much. Bye -bye. Thanks so much. I appreciate it. Bye -bye. Yeah, but today, you know, like those people who they are in the chat is a great example of how people, they, they read the Bible, but they don't understand. So, you know, they insist, this is about false prophet. This is about false prophet. No, it's not only about false prophet. It's about good prophet too. But, yeah. It says clearly that good tree gave good fruit. So how we know the good tree? How we know the good prophet? From his fruit. If he is good, he gives good fruit. If he is bad, he gives bad fruit. Can you be a prophet of God and then you live and you enjoy sin? And you teach sin? And you encourage sin? Can you be a priest and you are a child molester? So what about the priest who is not a child molester like Muhammad? Well, this is a good priest. What about the priest who don't care for money? That's a good priest. So the fruit is helping us to know who is the bad one of them, who is the good one of them. It's the same as anything in life. You know? Sajjad, I rejected you. Where, my friend? You did not text me. Where, where? Here we go. See? The guy he called, called, texted me. I called him. I thought this is you. What rejected me? What's your name there? Your name is Guy? I don't see anyone. I see... What's your name? Post, post your name in, you know, I will give you... I will give you three minutes to post your name in Skype, otherwise I will block you. I will block you in Skype, in, th in the chat here. <clears throat> Until now you not text me, you're a potato. Well, somebody want to chat with me, but you know, my friend here, we're trying to get Muslims to call us. 
but they are not. So, you know, uh, when you read the Bible, don't be an idiot and say, uh, okay, this is the medicine to know who is a false prophet. It's the same medicine to know true gold from false gold. So be aware of false gold. Okay. False gold rust. Okay. So now if it doesn't rust, it's gold. So that's mean it's about how to know good gold from false. <clears throat> All right, uh, Chloe, thank you. No, no, I posted the I posted my Skype in the chat, Alfred. I did, I did. He knew. I posted it in the chat. I did post in the chat my Skype, so he have no option to be confused. Here we go, my Skype. He mentioned what he me. I posted this. This is what Skype is open. There's no two. There's only one is open. And we mentioned that. And the guy, he just called me. <laughs> because of my post. Do we have any Muhammadan? And you know, the Muslims, by the way, they don't like this idea of knowing a person from his fruit because that will expose Islam. Islam is very stupid. Like, okay, so this God, if I believe in him, he will make my penis endless. Well, this is the fruit of Islam. What do you expect? Garbage in, garbage out. Endless penis? That's the best you can do? What I would do with it? What, what is the problem if the penis is six foot only? Why it have to be in, I mean, in this? What about three foot? What about one foot? What about one inch? What the size will do? Because this is a false cult, focus in sexuality, trying to tempt men into stupidity. Otherwise, is that a commercial for those fool who? When I make you to change the size of your penis and says to you, size matter? No, it doesn't matter. A man who have a small one or a big one, he is a man still. And he might have babies, you might not. <laughs> a rabbit, has, hardly you can see his penis, but he never stopped having sex. <laughs> so, you know, human being is silly, stupid, you know, they convince him. That a woman, she is beautiful if she has bigger breast. Why, why that will make her beautiful? I mean, it might be the opposite. It's, you know, personal preference, what people like, what people don't like, you know. I mean, if you love a woman, you love her. She have a big boobs, small boobs, she have no boobs. You like her. Huh? You're in love. So, human being either, either will be like a consumer, like a stupid consumer. He go by what people say. Yeah, the whole media speak about that women, if they have big breasts, they are beautiful. Then everybody, you know, he's searching for the big breast. And then women, they go and make a surgery. So now women, they change the way their breasts look like to, to fool you. They know that you are a fool. You are looking for this, you know, are you the customer? Okay, look at this, look what we have. And tummy. But a good woman, good women, the last thing we care for is just this. Because if a man, he marry a woman, or he want to be with the women because of her boobs, Tomorrow he will find the women have better boobs. So he will leave the first one, go to the second boobs. So, some, you know, simply, he is not even after the women, he is after boobs. And this is how we know false people. Uh, CP question, with your knowledge, does the Al-Mahdi fit the description of the Antichrist? My friend, there is nothing called Al-Mahdi. It's a fiction story. Don't mix reality with fictions. This is a stupid religion called Islam. There is no Mahdi, never exists. All the stories about this guy is fiction. What Mahdi? How in the world even you think that an Mahdi can be Antichrist? <laughs> there is nothing, there is no such a thing. Like even Muhammad, there is no proof of his existence. What Mahdi? Uh, 
any uh, other question? Yeah, you see many people, they keep talking about Al-Mahdi. Al-Mahdi is a fiction person, never exists. The Muslims have tons of stories about him. Like Al-Mahdi, when he fell down, he never, he never, he never, uh, he, uh, he fought in his, uh, he fell in his ass, he say, Allahu Akbar. He never fought. He never had poo-poo. He never pee. Al-Mahdi, he came out from the thigh of his mother because his mother, she had no vagina. I mean, what's wrong with people? This is what, you will believe anything? Suddenly now the Mahdi is a real person. They don't even know his name. What, who, what Al-Mahdi mean? <laughs> you know, every, like the tons of stories about this guy, and he's a fiction. You know, those Muslims who converted to Islam, and many of them, they forced out of Christianity. So now they are trying to find, like Islam is, is not a spiritual religion. It's just a you know, solid, you know, like... A, uh, uh, sexual food, you know, food, sex, that's that's Islam, gold, silver, you know, so it's a solid material, you know, but uh, spirituality is not there. And uh, uh, the, let us say, like, you know, when the Bible described God uh, in a, in a mystery, in, like mystery, you know, God is a, is a miracle. In Islam, God is silly, stupid, is, there's no mystery about him. If there's a God, he have a shin, and he have five fingers in the right hand. He have two hands, both of them they are right hands. So the mystery about their God is just silly. I mean, about what he's made of. You know, he's a shin, but he's not a human. He have no spirit, but he, he said, he said nafsi, which means my spirit. Uh, 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 when Allah, he spoke to Isa, Isa, he said to him, A'lamu ma fi nafsi, uh, 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 wa la ma fi nafsik. So Isa said to Allah, I know what is in my soul, but you do not know what is in your soul. Like how Allah don't have a soul, but he have a soul. So this is a very stupid cult. Zero spirituality, zero logic, uh, zero intelligence. It is sexual, money, food, gold, and silver. It just buy and sell without knowing mathematics or skills of a trade. All what you need for this kind of a business is someone who believe anything and he is horny. He is desperate. He worship sex. He worship money. Then you got a customer. You know, uh, once I went to a town and I told the driver, well, where we, you know, I, I, I was like saying in, in an innocent way. So I said to him, where we can have fun here? Like, you know, where people go. He said, okay, sir, I will take you, sir. So he drive. I don't know. I mean, I don't know anything about the city. And he took, you know, he, he dropped me in the front of a place. And then there is people in front of the door. Hey, welcome, sir. Well, right away from the door. I mean, they, they almost dragged me inside. And then I found, I went inside and I found like uh, 20, 30 women wearing very short skirt and they have like a display. Very disgusting, you know. So what, 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 you know, said, sir, sir, just to like it, you know, and they start holding me from my hand. I want to get out. You can't get out, you know, like they are holding you. And I was like, you know, really, really, uh, and it's, it's a scary, the, the place is dark. I said to myself, what I did, I just told the driver where I can have fun. So he, he saw, okay, this guy is an Arab. And what does Arab do? You know, where, where they go? An Arab guy telling the driver where we can have fun. So what he do? He took you to a prostitution house. So you can be seeking something and you end with something else. Islam can affect only the one who seek Islam. He seek sex. He seek money. He seek power. He seek, uh, uh, you know, uh, as you see, Allah promising Muslims to have a, uh, the richness of ten kings and women waiting for you and their legs is up in the sky and their ass is one mile. Women, their job is just to please you and tease you. Your orgasm is 70 years. Muhammad, he's stuck. You know, he heard Jesus say the word 70 and since then, Everything is 70, 70 women, 70 times, 70 years, 70, that's it. Everything is 70. 
So, uh, Islam is not a religion. Islam is just sex of the devil. How I can get them in my trap? It's a trap. You can get in, you cannot get out. And this is this proof that this is a trap. You can get in so easy by saying a shahada, but you will lose your head if you deny what you just said. It is a trap. It is the devil trap. And you cannot claim, oh, I do not know. Like, you know, you are going inside the prostitution place. Diamond encrusted Abdullah. Christian Prince, are you a gay? Uh -huh. Well, here we go. This is a Muslim. He's talking about who is a gay. Well, your prophet, my friend, he promised you, if you are a person who like to have sex with men, in the heaven there is a market where there is no buying nor selling except women and women, uh, men images. And if a man, he liked the image, he entered it and he have sex with it. Don't you know the hadith? So who is the gay? Why a prophet of God claiming that he is a prophet, promising his followers, if you convert to my religion, we have a market for you. We are images of men and women only. And if a man, he like the image, he enter it and have sex with it. And not only that, he claimed that your penis in this heaven will never go limp. Obviously, Muhammad, he focused on that part because he was struggling with that issue. Otherwise, why he think about it? You know, a person who th speak about penis going limp, he have a limby problem. Otherwise, I don't see why he isn't even remembering this. So you will see here, uh, read with me, religion of homosexuality. The Messenger of Allah said, in paradise there is, no, there is a market which is nothing brought or sold, bought or sold, except images of men and women. And if a man like the image, he enter it, which means he have sex with it. So who is the gay, my friend? Me or your prophet who used to wear his wife clothes and he said he never have sex, he never have, sorry, he never have Quran, receive Quran, except wearing her clothes. Hmm? Yeah. This is your religion. Your prophet, he put eyeliner three times a day. He dressed like a woman, he pee like a woman. Can you explain to us why you pee like a woman? What is the reason? <clears throat> and by the way, uh, in case you do not know, I saw a lot of homosexual uh, screaming for uh, free Palestine. I mean, you are so desperate to the point you join forces with the homo. This is what you, you are Muslims. You claim Islam is a great religion, you know, and then you go with the guys with our home wearing panties in the street. Go, so the video, I, I post the video on my channel, go. The guy is wearing the, the, the flag of Palestine over his panties, and he, you can see his ass, almost he failed. He's so cute, like Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. He almost fell down, because he was so excited, I mean, sorry, she was so excited, and the uh, bikini, and uh, he support Palestine. So this is who you are, you claim to be Mujahideen, etc. You are kissing the asses, literally, of homosexual atheists in New York, in Chicago, even the Jews there to join you. This is how, this is how desperate you are. You are so desperate to the point you want to be caught in Starbucks. It's a coffee shop. Who care? You want to fight Israel by, by Starbucks? Desperate. Losers. You could not, uh, Lili Dawa could not go and do jihad, so he would say, he make a news about uh, uh, I saw this Muslim guy, same in you, you don't have an autumn same of size, you are drinking in stars, so this is now the problem, 
Most times women, they are working as a prostitute, uh, uh, go to London and see the car they give you in, in Travalca Square, you know, men from Morocco, from Tunisia, from Libya, from Egypt, business, big business of prostitution. Drugs, hashish, robberies, uh, uh, the number one customers for jails in, in, in the West is Muslims. So this is, does not break your back. And what break your back is a stock box supporting Israel. By the way, I, I ate uh, today in McDonald's. Let me pause the picture of McDonald's in my... Shall I pause the picture? Hold on. I took a picture actually. I was eating and I said, okay, I'm supporting McDonald's. Here we go. I, I took a picture of potato chips. Let me post it in YouTube. Now, hold on. I don't. I did not eat with McDonald's for a long time, actually. But I said to myself, uh, let me have a lunch in McDonald's. Where is my channel? Hold on. Actually, my favorite part is the uh, potato chips. Peace upon him. Uh, create a post, okay. You want to see my McDonald? Peace be upon him. Can Allah make McDonald? Can me? Uh, you know? Can he do that? No. This is real. Oh, Allah is not real. Your God. Okay, Donald. <clears throat> Let us call it McDonald. Allah fighting McDonald. Okay, let's say here, tell me who is the enemy. of your God. That would be very long, but it's okay. Mm, what we will say here, hold on. McDonald convinced me Allah couldn't. Support Israel and love McDonald. You know what? Let's make it more 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 yummy. title became a story can Allah All right, I think this is a better title. If Allah could not defeat 
McDonald, how he can defeat Israel. And this is the picture I took when I was eating my lunch today. Have fun. Do you guys see it? I pause it in community. It was really yummy. I like I like McDonald's, you know. It was really tasty good. Very nice. And by the way, it's halal, halal. Yeah, this is a religion. They are busy with halal and what you know. Like Israel is uh, is is taking Gaza and they are fighting Starbucks and McDonald's. Heroes, and they are those are true true hero. I mean, what you can say. This is how true hero do you know. We don't eat McDonald. You know. I did not eat McDonald maybe for more than a year, but just because Muslims they are be cutting McDonald, I say let me eat a McDonald. Yeah. And your God, Allah, I mean, your God, his enemy now is McDonald. I mean, what's wrong with this religion? You are busy fighting McDonald and Zara, Zara? Really? You want to be called Zara? What, you want to, you're a woman? Why, we, why are Muslim women even buying from Zara? Don't you see how open the skirt? Are you going to be cut Victoria's Secret? Because they are number one business in the world. Why you don't be cut with Victoria's Secret? Did you see the, 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 the Muslim bikini have a, a lock? I mean, it's a bikini and the woman naked and now she have a lock. Oh, it's more sexy. And the husband, he opened the lock like, you know, or the guy, the boyfriend. Uh, can you stay so we can put the key in the thing while you are moving? Unlock it. And the whole panty is not even like two line of a thread. What luck? Good luck with that. Silly people. Anyway, you know, uh, tell me who is your enemy. Uh, tell me the size of your enemy. I will tell you who, who, who you are. You have a God. He's, he's an enemy of the lizard. If, you're, if your God, his enemy is a lizard, what he is? Cockroach. Yeah, because the enemy of lizard is insect. Insect, they hate lizard because he eat them. He kill them. You know. Actually, I saw a video, guys. I don't know if you saw it. Anyone saw it? An, a, 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 an Israeli uh, soldier alone. Alone. He killed four. I mean, the guy, he keep going from play, from play. I mean, they throw a grenade at him. He survived it. And then he entered. He shot the first one, the second one, the third one. Um, I mean, this guy is really, really brave. And in the same time, I, I can say, you know, God saving him, because the, the the last person he shot, they are just face to face. But between them, there's not even, if I say to you, six foot distance, I'm not exaggerating. Six foot between them, not six meters, not, you know, like he go in the door, he knew that guy is there. The guy show up, boo, 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 boo. he put him down. Yeah. And you know, the funny is the Quran says to you that uh, the, the children of Israel are not brave, they are coward. That we saw who is the coward. Uh, Gaza, Qatar, is, uh, no, I don't know, I did not see it. Yeah, I mean, you know, those fool, they... Yeah, and they want to cut Starbucks, but YouTube, because they make money from YouTube. Why don't cut TikTok? TikTok is owned by the Chinese. Isn't the Chinese, uh, the, uh, you know, uh, Muhammad Hijab, he, you know, he's angry from the Chinese brother. They are discriminating the Muslims. They were not. Right? Yeah, I posted a video about this Turkish guy. He was he was making a threat to Israel. You will not escape the words of Allah. And, you know, right away. The funny is, it doesn't even take a second after he made a threat that 
the, the, the worth of Allah is coming to you. He just said that and the heart attack. Actually, you know what? I experienced that. There's a Muslim, he called himself the knight, the Muslim knight. You see, like since Christian prince, there's, a, there's Muslim prince, Muslim knight. I mean, they start getting names from everywhere. So this guy, he called himself Muslim knight. One day I came to, they told me, they said to me, the Muslim rooms, they are making a prayer to Allah to kill you. I said, really? So I went there. And the guy was in charge of the microphone. He was saying, may Allah make a train go over a Christian prince. I mean, all the chat, you know, he's holding the mic. May Allah cause him heart attack. I mean, may Allah make it in the coming 24 hours. I mean, may Allah make him go down, never stand up. I mean, second day I heard the news that he himself, he have a heart attack and died. He's gone. You know? Yeah, may Allah cut his artery. Second day is not even a day. They told me, CP, did you know what happened? I said, what? They said, this guy who was praying yesterday for your death, he have heart attack himself. I said, really? I said, yeah. I said, maybe they're people, maybe, maybe they're lying, you know, come on. I said, I'm, no, 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 it's true. And then in the Muslim chat room, they were saying, Please, brothers, sisters, pray for our brother. You know, he is really in a very serious condition. <laughs> you know. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> but listen carefully. Once our, like, you know, it, it will happen one day. I will die. All of us, we will die. And they will say, Allah killed him, brother. Finally. Allah, he gave him time, but Allah, Allah never forget. But Netanyahu, he died. They will say, Allah killed him. Sharon, he died, Allah killed him. Muslims, who is the one who killed Muhammad? Allah killed him too. <laughs> the funny is, the Muslims believe that everything happened in earth or in heaven is by the will of Allah. Okay. Any even calamity or disaster happened to you is by the will of Allah. Quran says that, this is not me, you know. Here it says, مَا مِنْ مُصِيبَةً except by the will of Allah. All those are speaking about the same. All bad things happen to you on earth as a human is by the decision of Allah. It doesn't matter what it is. No disaster occurs. The translation disaster is correct but not correct at the same time. Disaster is like a uh, you know, if like big event for maybe nation, like a flood, you know, here it's about individual or anything bad for individual, happen by by die by Allah leave. So now Muhammad he died by poison. It's by Allah leave. Why, why Muslims? Why Allah wanna make Muhammad die by poison? Any Muslim can tell me. As long death never happened except by the will of Allah. Why Allah saved Isa according to the Quran? And he did not save Muhammad and cause his death. Because as you see, it's by his leave. You know, which means Allah is the one who killed him. No calamity be fails, but with the leaves between two brackets, i.e. decision, qadar, divine, etc. It's a, you know, uh, destiny. Allah, he made it. So why Allah will make that, that happen to Muhammad? They reported his death by the sun. Okay. Well, anyway, now he was doing jihad and the virgins will be waiting for him. Better than the wife he have at home. Trust me. He will wash no dishes no more. Yeah, you know, I mean, the funny is that those Turkish, like Erdogan, they make big news. In the same time, they are number one country, Islam, Muslim country, do business with Israel. All the steel of Israel is coming from Turkey which means all the weapon they make mostly is made by iron and steel coming from Turkey. So shouldn't you, the first thing you do, say, I will not sell you steel no more? The Hindu guy, he wanna know which book he read. Uh, maybe I did not uh, listen carefully. 
Well, uh, you see, for me, I I don't really. Uh, I, if you want to know about Jesus, for sure, you read the New Testament. If you want to go and take a direct cut, uh, the Old Testament is more of not only a book about God, but it's about history between people of God and God. However, uh, I believe that this is an answer you cannot you cannot give to anyone because simply we do not know the. Uh, the ability of the person. There are some people they give up reading after two pages. There's people they can read 50 pages a day. Maybe there's people they can finish a book a day. Uh, and there's people they enjoy reading. So uh, the Old Testament is a very, you know, many, many books and very huge. So if I know that's what he's saying, I will tell him, well, maybe better to start with the book of John. Okay. <clears throat> and by the way, you will notice here the verse after this, it says, Obey Allah and obey the Messenger. So he is saying to them, If I order you and something bad happened to you because my order, this is a destiny. So Muhammad here, he is making them, look how evil he is. He is making them obey him and he don't want to take responsibility for what will happen next. It is decision made by Allah. Bad things happen to you by the leave of Allah. Obey me. You obey Muhammad, you obey God. All right. Uh, I think we have enough for today. And if you like us to let me know about the time, timing. Is this timing good? Or I should make it more like in the morning, my time, you know. Which time is better? Let me know. Arabian Prophet, Christian Prince, Christian Prince TV. Uh, uh, Sajad, just, just take a hike, man. I just, I put my Skype here in the chat, and the, the, the idiot you, you keep saying to me, I quote. Everybody can call me except you, right? Just take, take a hike, idiot. What a kid. Let your dad call me. Ah, uh, uh, he have a he have a picture of Macy's. I see him. I see him. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me call you. You are putting a picture of a Christian guy. Shame on you. Hello. 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 Yes, uh, Sajad. How are you doing, my friend? Is that USP? This is USP. No, this is CP, not USP. Oh my lord, man! I love you so much. I converted to Christianity because of you. You, you like I, I, my life is half of it dead to you, and the other half is for Christ. So I thought you are a Muslim, and you would challenge me, and you are upset, and you know. Yeah, uh, I'm saying. I'm saying uh, the debate you made is pointless, bro. Because uh, you know, like uh, I can, uh, I can live with the, the like. Uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad, uh, uh, the, that guy molested children, is okay because in the Old Testament I can tell you this. But if I don't have the Holy Spirit, in my opinion, or God don't don't lead me, you can't do anything, Christian Prince. Hmm. I don't I don't understand. You know, Muhammad he did the child molestation, and what you yeah. said again. And and uh, uh, yeah, if you go to like Old Testament, they have bad thing. They kill children in the Old Testament, you know. So the people will. Try, no, no, hold on, hold uh, on, hold, no, hold on, hold on. You see, in okay, the okay. in the Old Testament, uh, you see, okay. uh, when you read a story, you better read the whole story. So if you read the story about the Amalek, it says when they attack you from your rear, what the rear mean? They attack them and yeah. they kill their women and children. So this is why the response is. Well, as long they are coming to destroy, like the same as Gaza now, you know, as long this is what they want, well, they deserve to have do, the same. Do you work for the Jews, CP? Huh? Do you work for the Jews? Like I, I saw a debate for you and the, the guy to, told you you work for the Jews. Why defending the Jews? Shouldn't you like uh, uh, like defend the, uh, the life, the peace? No, I don't defend peace. Why I want to defend peace? Because... Uh, 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 peace with the wicked man is a fake peace. Can you have peace with someone when I rape you? I, 
Uh, I know, I know, I know what you mean. No, but, no, 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 no. Uh, you you, see, know, the, you see the words, children, the, they are dying in the... Uh, oh, so, the so, so what my business? If you are a wicked man and you come to my okay. house and you shoot at my, at, at my door and then you are in a, across the street from me and I shoot at your door, but there is behind the door, there is a child. Is it my fault or your fault? Okay, well, but they are taking back their lands, right? My friend, it is the okay, one who, it? it's the one okay. who brought death to the children, not the one if if they don't go and attack the Jews, the Jews they are there for, forever. They never attack them. Hamas they are a government for twenty years. When the since twenty years there is not a single Jew in Gaza, not a single one. So if Hamas did not attack, Jews will not go crazy and seek uh, you know justice with the enemy. And what the enemy do? Go and hide behind women and children and then children they die so what the what hamas is doing and the muslims they try to stain your hand with the blood of innocent to make you look bad but the fact this is their stain do you understand what i'm saying that if, if uh, hamas shoot one rocket uh, israel shoot 20 rockets it's not about shooting kids even israel is not, is not shooting kids israel is okay. is shooting at hamas hamas hiding between civilians normally in war the one who is very close to the target, he might die. So if okay, okay. if, Leave if Hamas, it's my dream became true to talk to you. Huh? You saved my life. I did not save your life, my friend. Jesus saved life. I saved life of nobody. No, no, no. I, I, I half of it uh, belonged to Jesus. The other half belonged to you. Uh, like now there's no, I there's no. I did not do it. No, no, my, my friend. Hold on. My life, I, let me I let me fix what you it. say. Let me fix what you say. What, uh, what kind of half I can give you if everything I have myself is given to me from Jesus? So I, got, I have no half of what happened to you. I share what I learned from the Messiah. So if I speak wisdom, this is his wisdom. If I speak truth, this is his truth. If I tell something, touch your heart, is what he did to me. He's doing it to you. Okay. So I, okay, did not, I did nothing to you. Don't ever, don't ever praise a man. If you want to be a true Christian, don't ever don't do what the Muslim do. Never praise a man. Praise the Lord. So I know, I know. Man is a servant. I'm just serving, serving you, and I'm happy. I was able to make you see the truth, and the truth set you free. But I just did the part to deliver to you the truth. You know, maybe you were not noticing. Maybe you were deceived. You are not able to see it clearly. Yeah, I did maybe a little part. But the one who can give the credit, it's only the Messiah. Never give a credit to the man. I'm not the one who can take a credit. But you have, you, have, you have like a little bit of clarity that we can say, a little bit. I, no, no, no. The little I do, the little I do, that the Lord, he put on me and I give it to you. Which means, like, you know, you see what the Lord, he says. Uh, but, you know, bro, the, can, you are a friend of David Wood? I'm what? A friend of David Wood? No, I'm not. Okay, if you see him, uh, tell him that don't let him go to any debate. He always lose. Well, I know this is his business. He loses his win. This is not my business. Uh, okay, okay, bro. But you never lost, right? Uh, debate in your life. I lose debate. I always lose debate. I debate myself and I lose. So. It's, oh. Yeah. And me, uh, can can I be to uh, become a Muslim like five minute debate with you? Oh, you know, I can make you a Muslim in five minutes if you want. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, CP, uh, you, you know, like, uh, there is uh, some, uh, some people, like 2,000 people of a church named Nazirim, you know them? 2,000 people what? Uh, from the church Nazirim. is a church that believes that Jesus is not God, okay? Yeah. And... Uh, and uh, they are like uh, a plane of my head. They don't believe in the virgin birth. Uh, they t give me a verses. They tell me I can't prove Jesus is God. Uh, I go to a transition. They say you need to compare it with every transition, not one you believe with one transition. Okay. okay? So I, so I give them. I I, get, I tried with them. Roman nine five, Acts twenty twenty eight. Every verse I can give them to prove Jesus is God. According to Christian, they are Christian. They believe that Jesus is the Son of God and the Messiah, hmm. but he's not equal to to God, and he's not, and the Holy Spirit is not equal to God, and there is no Trinity. Okay. Okay, so 
Uh, they they challenged Sam Shimon and he lost and his um, friend I, I I don't know but uh, they, and uh, they, they are playing with my head I feel they are the devils my like, friend anyone anyone when I come with such a stupid thing you know we can just a few verses we can destroy them isn't it Jesus says so if if according to them he is not God what is Jesus can you give me the answer uh, Jesus is uh, the the Most High is. Uh, is the son of God, but is not equal to God. He uh, people are so, public, okay. they say he is a man given authority by God. He is a puppet of God. There is no, a, you a representative be, no, no. of God. But he's but saying. isn't it isn't it Jesus says, the one who saw me he saw the Father. So yeah, if but, he is but a son, is, no, they is, are saying let's break the Trinity. So no. Jesus and the Father are one now. So what what? They say, uh, uh, when Jesus say, uh, the Father and Him, uh, they are one, okay? How that makes sense when Jesus, uh, and on John 17, 3, he say, I am the servant of God, okay? That, that God sent me. And on John 20, 17, you know? Yeah, but you know, if you read a verse, you don't read just a verse and you read, the, you left the whole chapter. Isn't it the whole book of John saying from the beginning, the word was God, and that is Jesus? They say, they say the word is a plan, mean a plan, not word. No, the word simply is the logos. This is a translation for the Greek word. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah logos, they say logos also mean a plan. Okay, let us say, but doesn't say, let us say, let us change the word to make it, to make them happy. But isn't it this word, is God himself? Is that what the verse is saying? So let us say we change it, we make it a plan just to make them happy, which is false. But now the yeah. plan is God and that is Jesus. <laughs> so either way, uh, Jesus is God. Okay, okay. So no, uh, as the, long the, the friend, of God is in, the Messiah. In John one, yeah, in John one, yeah. it says the beginning is or what the is the word. Okay, the word. but and John one is speaking about whom? About Jesus, correct? Okay. Okay. In John fourteen, chapter one fourteen, and the word became a flesh. Is that correct? Uh, oh, correct. Okay. And that, that, that is Jesus. But they don't. Uh, but they don't approve of the transition you say. My friend, they have a lot of because they are false. They fabric. They're the same as Jehovah's Witnesses. Jehovah's Witnesses in the first verses in the book of John, it says, in the uh, uh, that uh, 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 was a, a word, a word. They just make add a to the sentence. Okay, so so you think they are logical or not? They say uh, Jesus is not. Uh, no, they are just, not. Uh, let, a, a man let them call, let, let, let them let them call let me let them call me and so we can laugh. They are jokers. They are idiots. For, for real? Oh yeah. Oh my God, CV, you literally my father, bro. I don't have a father. No, no my friend. Okay. The, the, <laughs> the father is our father. You have a father. You are. You are a Christian. You are a Christian. The Father. We yeah, say we yeah, pray. God, God is my father. We but, pray to uh, God, and, our Father. And, yeah. Okay. He's my father in heaven. Can you be my father in uh, the ground? I, I will be. <laughs> I will be your your. Let us say older brother. I will be happy to be so. No, no, father, only father. Okay, whatever Sorry, you okay, insist. Okay. I don't know what to say. But anyway, you can Maria? you can you That's can ask crazy. them you can uh, you can ask them to call me, and we can debunk okay. them so easy because simply, uh, Jesus, he said clearly. I, uh, as long they agree that he is son of God, that means he is born of God, and whatever born is of God have God in him because he is born of God. Like when uh, uh, let us say, uh, if I am born of water, I will have what? I will have whatever water I have. If I'm born, oh yeah, like uh, Zeus uh, born Hercules, right? No, no, we, we don't want to talk about fiction. Also... No, we don't talk about fiction. We talk about reality. Okay. So if I'm born of something, I will have the DNA, I will have the blood, I will have the quality, I will have the, the, everything from that person will be within me because I'm born, you know? This is what born is okay. about. So if the Messiah is born of the Father, that means he has the nature of the Father. What is the nature of the Father? It's divine. So what the Son of Divine will be? Divine. <laughs> A divine, you know? This what do you what do you think about them saying that he is a puppet of the father? So it's do you what? find that logical or not? Sorry, what? A puppet of the father. Well, a like uh, a God, a God, my God. friend. The first prophet is God. All prophets they prophesy in the name of God, but the real one who tells them the prophecy is God. So if I'm a prophet, who is the one who told me what will happen tomorrow? God, correct? Correct. Okay. So who is the true prophet? God. So God is a prophet. God is a master. God is a rabbi. God is the wise. God is uh, the loving. All those things is God. You know, uh, uh, you, life. What is life? 
like you know you have life right you yourself you have life given to you from God correct okay okay so okay. if if God does not have life he cannot give life okay. if you if you don't That's have it you cannot you, if you cannot be alive yourself can you create life you cannot That's just very yeah. But they are saying, what about the authority part? What? He's given authority. Like, all the authority of the Father, Jesus has. No, like, when, uh, when Jesus, like, he speak about the authority, he speak about, uh, uh, he speak to people who see a man, and they want to know why he's speaking from where, what is the authority he have? He's a man, you know? So what the man he can say, why he can say such a thing? So he says to them, I work and my Father work. And I, I was with him before the whole, before the world was. So the, I share my glory with the Father. Yeah. Yeah. Not he, the he, he was before. He was with. I was with you. He was asking the Father to glorify Him. You right. So glorify me, Father, as I glorify you. And I was with you before the world was. So before all the creation, Jesus was. So if Jesus is just. Oh, when I tell them that Jesus was before all creation, before the world, he tell me that we all saw that we are born before uh, we are. God created us before we are uh, like down on earth, and they say uh, God when he glorified the That's that's uh, false. That, the, that's false. That, that's false. That's false. Because all of us we know that God created Adam and Eve, and we are their children. There is nothing called uh, created us before, and heaven was on earth. They don't even know what okay. heaven. Heaven, the heaven, the garden, it's not really heaven, it's a garden, the garden of Adam and Eve, it is in earth, and when they were kicked out, they were not kicked out from the sky. So human beings, first time it started to be exist, is in the earth, was not in the heaven up in the sky. So obviously they did not know what they are talking about. Uh, so, so can I bring one? And he always like every day open a you can and bring, get you can bring, 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 you can bring and no one can prove that Jesus got to him. You can, and, uh, you can bring, you can bring ten, no problem. Oh my God, bro! I didn't imagine you're real. I just, you know, every day I like don't study for my exam, and they see your videos. That you should just study. I mean, why you don't study? You want, you want to, you want to pass the exam by saying I, I love God. No, you have to study. No, no, I, I love CP on the exam. Not, uh, I love God separately. Okay, when I, uh, you, you know, is Bilal the Sheikh of Man or not? It's just, just a kid. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, is okay. Oh, oh my God, I can't, I can't speak. I, I, I even copy you when, when I go like on Discord. I say, "Hello, Abdul. Are you, are you talking to me?" Uh, I, I copy everything, bro. This guy, you, is, this guy is just a kid, and you know the one who made him famous is David Wood. The guy he was uh, calling me names. I got him busted. He reported me for copyright for YouTube to take the video I made for him exposing his his li lies. And then suddenly David Wood, he went there. I don't know why he made him famous. Otherwise, he's nobody. The guy don't even know how to read two words in the Quran. Okay, okay. You know that uh, the verse in Quran say, "Kullu uh, ruhun al maut." Yeah. <clears throat> uh, God is a soul. So is he? Is God also gonna die with this sentence? Did you think about it? Uh, you know, there's more powerful than this. You know, like when uh, uh, the Quran is a stupid book. But when uh, Isa, he said supposedly to Allah uh, that I know what is in my soul, but I do not know uh, what in your soul. So how Allah have a soul if Allah don't have a soul? How I say to him, uh, I know what is my soul, but you don't know what I do not know what is in your soul. The word nafs in Arabic, all those words, nafs, is about soul, you know, soul. So, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, yeah, so how Allah, he, how a Muslim they say, Allah has no soul, and then Isa, he says to him, I do not know what is in your soul. And then the yeah. Muslim, we have tried to explain, it says, oh, he don't mean soul, but it's a word we use, no, it says soul, you know, yeah. Yesterday, someone, someone told me that God, okay, uh, created everything with his word, okay, and I tell them, uh, uh, right, and he told me, yes. I told him why did he uh, like uh, uh, like في yeah. uh, بيت أمران, okay uh, why did he say فكون فكون, be and to be you know yeah. why did he always say that why did did he go up and down and go uh, uh, like you know what no, I mean but he never did actually he never said to anything uh, uh, be and what was. 
because the story of Jesus and the story of Adam, both of them, according to the Quran, yeah. he did not, not he did not do it by this way. Adam, he created him for mud by his hands, right? Yeah. Uh, and uh, for Isa, the same, he breathed into Mary. He did not say be any words. Yeah, yeah. So is, he's not up by his word, Confeacon. Why, like, uh, he created the earth and the sky, okay? And uh, he created the earth before the sky. I think. Yeah, it's all of those is, is mistakes, obviously. Okay, uh, I take it from you the debate of the three hours with, with the Shia guy. So I notice you know a little bit of Arabic, right? You speak Arabic? Yeah, of course. I'm Iraqi. Oh, you are Iraqi. Okay, okay, good, good. Okay. Uh, I when know. I say I'm Abdul, I mean it literally. Ah, Shlona. Uh, Shlona, can you? Shlona, can you? Shlona. It's from when? Oh, no, I missed it. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, but uh, you know, yeah. the, the, the Quran is a book of contradiction. The Muslims are so confused about their God. Uh, <laughs> Yeah. Uh, what do you mean? No, it's not a joke, it's a Yeah, well I don't really, uh, most of my work I do in the internet, it's more convenience, you know, people from around the world come. Uh, uh, what about the Farid? You know the Farid guy? He's a kid he, too, he... they don't dare to call me, you see, did, did you have difficulty to call me? Here we go, you text me, I call you, I thought you are a Muslim, you know, he can call yes. me, they are kids, they are kids. A person who challenged me, but he don't dare to talk to me, obviously he is a potato, right? Because because uh, if you can get me busted, just give me your uh, Skype and I will call you. You know, I stay here yeah, for many I, hours. I, I ever every hadith you get, like I, I go and uh, see it. You know, uh, Sorry again, what? Yeah. So God, so God is busy, and we he he finish his work. He gonna uh, judge the uh, jinn, okay? Because he was busy. There is more. There, you know that there is more horrible than this one. There is the one where they ask him for a miracle. He says, "In wa inni muntazirun." Wait, and I'm waiting with you. So he's, they are asking him why you don't have a miracle. They said Allah told them told to tell you wait, and he is waiting too. Have you ever heard of God waiting for the miracle to happen? They are asking you for a miracle. But if you read with me here, look, this is chapter 5, verse 116, 116 says, that Isa, he said to Allah, let me read it for you in Arabic, as long as you know Arabic. So he says to, he says to him, and this is supposedly Isa, supposedly Jesus. So he said, Ta'alamu ma fi nafsi, wa la a'lamu ma fi nafsik. Okay, so how Allah don't have a soul, and then Jesus saying to him, you know what is in my soul, but I do not know what is in your soul. <laughs> yeah, and it says uh, every, every soul going to die. Uh, okay. yeah, yeah, but this is a clear, a clear word that, and like, who is talking to Allah? You know, Allah is saying. So how, and look how, look how, how the Muslim translators say, uh, you know what is in my inner self, and I do not know oh. what is in your inner self. But this is not what it says. Nafsi, you, you know? Like, if you, yeah. write, if you type the word nafs and you speak Arabic, you type the word nafs in the Quran, you will find all of it is about soul. Nafsahu wa sawaha, you know? Nafsahu wa sawaha. Did you read Tafsir ibn Kathir about uh, the Ahzab uh, 59? Yeah. When his women were, were to be, and uh, the people used to look at his women, the wife of the Prophet. Yeah. And do, do you know the um, uh, Surah uh, Maryam? Uh, 28 and when it says uh, the people uh, challenge the prophet uh, to uh, challenge the prophet and he didn't have an answer if you're back here always you know when 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 uh, the, those are the people of Tanjiran they came to challenge Muhammad uh, yeah. and he they waited all day waiting for him he did not answer at all he know they knock at his door he not even answer them he see them he closed the door he don't want to talk to them Second day, he know he cannot debate them. Those are Christians, monks. So he said to them, uh, he gave them the verses about Mubahala, like uh, Man Hajj. Yeah, yeah, I know. One. Yeah. I know. So uh, the uh, one who so he died, and the priest got nothing. <laughs> yeah, yeah like, you know, bring your wife, bring my wife, bring your kids. But those are monks; don't have wives. Anyway, stupid religion. Uh, you see the nafs, the nafs of Adam. Look, 
Look how they lie. The same word, and by the nafs of Adam. So by the nafs of Adam, what is the translation? Adam or a person or a soul. Or. <laughs> so nafs, and, and nafs, you know, is a soul. And obviously Allah has a soul. But what you can say. Uh, do you know the verse when Jesus uh, in the Quran uh, give a life to a human, like uh, create a human? Yeah, the Quran confirmed that. Yeah, what about it? A create a human, not uh, like create, not uh, not birth a human. You know that one? There is many stories. There is even uh, Jesus he create uh, Noah. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and. And there is a lot of crazy many Christian friends. You, you, you are amazing to have. You, oh, I can like talk to you like three days. Okay, so Jeff, and... I want I want you to okay. do something for me. You were able what? to uh, uh, to make me believe in the beginning that you are a Muslim who want to debate me. So now okay. I want you to bring me those guys who they are saying they are Muslim who can debate me. Bring me the Muslims and bring me those. Uh, you know, even though I don't like to debate nah. those. Uh, Silly one who claims Jesus is not God or Son of God only, but you can. Nazarene. But yeah. Okay, but you, and I gave them the revolution one to eight. They say that. No, no, it's just not about what you, what's about you give them. You know, uh, we will not debate them to win a debate. We will debate them just to laugh because simply everything they say is all awkward and stupid. The verses is so clear. You know. Yeah, yeah. E either you believe the book or you don't believe in the in the in a book. And, uh, and the book is so clear that the Messiah is God on earth, in the flesh, you know? And, uh, and, we do not and you know what they say? Verse. Yeah? And say, I, I used to be a Catholic for 20 years. Who? <laughs> the, the one who's speaking, he's not the young one, bro. Yeah, you know, this, is, are, this is additional reason to believe that they are uh, uh, just uh, stupid. Because if you've been a Catholic for 20 years, and now you found that you are a donkey, that means you are a donkey from the beginning. Because if, if, being a, if being a donkey, if you are trying to me to say to me, I was a Catholic, which means I was wrong for 20 years. So 20 years, you did not notice you are wrong, you are an idiot. So now you are right. So after 20 years from now, you will be what? Hindu? You know? Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, silly, it's a silly argument. Imagine I say to you, I used to take drugs for 20 years. So that means you were drug for 20 years. Now you are no better. Now what? You are taking hashish? So... Uh, a, a, a smart, a smart person, he is trying to convince you that he knew what he is talking about. But the fact, what he just said is the opposite. Because if he knew what he's talking about, he will not stay a Catholic for 20 years if it's wrong. What he just said yeah. to you, actually, he proved that he's an idiot. He was Catholic for 20 years, but he knew nothing about Catholic. And then he found out something and he decided to leave. So. He, he, what, what he gave you, he have a certificate of being an idiot for 20 years. And now he's trying to convince yeah. you that the idiot who is idiot for 20 years, now today is smart. But that will not work. <laughs> it's, like, it's like saying to you, it's like saying to you, do you know it took me 20 years to, pa to, to pass the elementary school? But that does not make you yeah. professor. That makes you just elementary school guy. And you are stupid, you are silly, you know? Okay, okay. It oh, takes you 20 that's... years. What about make it 40 years? That will not make you smarter. You know, <laughs> like, do you have no B do you have no PhD in high school because it took you twenty years to finish it? No. Christian, Christian friends, like you are the most funny man ever, man. I am nobody. Anyway, Sajad. Uh, what the bro? If you are nobody, I'm, I'm an insect, man. Nobody, nobody. Anyway. Uh, get, oh, you mean nobody get, from get the movie? Get me, get uh, me. Oh, uh, listen, listen. I don't like people to call me and say a good thing about me. I'm nobody. If you do that, I will block you. Oh, I'm, I'm just warning you. Oh, I'm, you. I'm warning you. Nobody. Sajad, I'm warning you. Don't call me to tell me how amazing you are. I, I get upset. So if you want, if you want to stay in touch with me, don't do that again. All right. Okay. You so now let us go. Let us go. To, let us go to you're, serious you're, business. You're let us go. You are a liar. You are a liar. You mute okay. me. <laughs> let us go to serious business. <laughs> yeah. Let okay, us go okay. with serious business. Bring me those okay. names you call. Any one of them want to call me and debate me? Let us have fun. All right. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Thank, thank you, me. my friend. Thank okay. you. Thank, thank, oh, you. Oh, thank you, CP. Bye bye. Thank you. We thought he's a Muslim. It turned to be he left Islam. You know. I thought we got a fish. Yeah. Can I get the hadith I looked? 
the black stone is the right hand of Allah. Yeah, no problem. Give me a second. But I think, did you try to search in English? Like the black stone is the right hand of Allah. Maybe you can find it in English. Uh, <coughs> let us find it for you. All right. Let us see. I, I have the head in front of me, but I'm just trying. Uh, to find you an official Islamic website. All right. Let us see this one. All right. Well, uh, I found here this website, but this is all in Arabic. So I don't know if that will help you. Okay. I will give you this link. This is a book called Uh, here is the hadith number the hadith uh, so this is an explanation about Sahih al-Bukhari the book of Hajj hadith number 1532 but then there are all those hadith underneath, uh, underneath of it is just to explain that hadith in the top and then if you go down it says that the black stone is the right hand of Allah on earth إن النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أخبر أنه يمين الله في الأرض. This is about the wisdom. Let us see how we can find it. So if we translate, we will go to where it says two seven one, and then we pass this section, this section here, and then we will find it here and here. So let us do that. Translate to English. All right. Uh, so we go to page number 271 as we mentioned where is to say we go so now here it says and the black stone is the land of Yemeni okay in rule of Abraham okay See here the stone hadith is saying if the black stone will have will have two eyes, tongues, and is going to talk. And then where is where is the translation for the right hand of Allah? Uh, I should be here. Hold well on. Yeah, I think the translation is not coming right. This is why it's gone. We don't see it. See, in the Arabic, we saw it here, but here it's gone. So let us go back to Arabic. 
at the sea. How you can do it. This is a different website. Let us see here. Actually, this is the same page. But why, when we use the English translation, it's up here? The wisdom of kissing the black stone, uh, Ali, etc. In the Nabiya sallallahu alaihi wasallam, the Quran, that he is the Lord of the world. You see, this part for some reason is gone in the English translation. I don't see it. Here it says, the the black corner. Is the right hand of Allah, but when we translate, we don't see it. And here again it says that. So let us use Google one more time and see if that will work. <coughs> okay. Yeah, I see it's gone. The translation is. Uh, I think Google is confused about translation. Yeah, it should appear here again. Let us see if we search for the word right. Yeah, you see what we do. Ah, here we go, finally. All right. The Prophet, uh, Allah pray on him and salute him, he said that the black stone is the right hand of Allah on earth. Do you see it? So finally, we were able to find it. I, was, I did search for the word right, as you see, and I was able to find it. Uh, indeed, the black stone is the right hand of Allah. With it, he uh, shake the hand of his servants. Again, uh, he said, uh, it's being the right hand of God. God knows best. All right. So let me give you this link. And you can use the same Google translation as we did. This is the best I can do to you. Or you can try to search for the same hadith in English. Maybe you can find uh, like a better translation done by Muslims. Let me know if you were able to open the link. All right. Yeah, it take a lot of work. You know, before I used to do all the translation by myself because before we don't have any English translation. We don't have any Hadith, even Quran, nothing. I used to open Arabic and translate to people. It take a lot of work. <coughs> All right. Anyway, guys, I think it's time to go. Uh, is enough for today. And I noticed actually, I don't know. I mean, we spend three hours, four hours videos, and then people they make five minute videos. They watch it more. So I don't know what to do. Like, is it the title? Is it the picture? What? I don't know. Do Do we have to do? Like, why people they like entertainment? Like, if I put the name of uh, Shakira, people will click and watch. If I put the name of this guy Morgan. People will look, why I need to put a name of somebody to make you come and watch? Why we don't have a value unless we bring someone have no value as a title? Like what this uh, Morgan value is, what he knows about. He's just a TV host. So you put his name, you put a name of a, a, someone he's an idiot too, and the people they click and they watch. Just put a picture and a name. It doesn't matter really if the video have a quality speech or something you learn, uh, people they come. So it is sad that we have, uh, in order to make people watch something truthful, we, do we need to lie? Is that how it works? 
So for me, you know, if, if you want to show me that's really care for you, for me to come back, uh, share the link. As you know, I don't even keep my videos. I'm, I'm not seeking a glory for myself. We want, like, here we go. We heard this guy. He left Islam. So you download the video. You share it with somebody. Someone like Sajid who called me today. He will listen to it. He will leave Islam. And you, you did a great job. So we need more people to see. It's not about me. You don't even know me. And I don't keep my videos. But I would love to see that my work is not going, you know, like getting what it deserves. More people see. Why the liars, they have hundreds of thousands of you, and the one who is sharing the truth, he don't. Just do your part. My video doesn't stay even, you know, uh, they don't stay in my channel for like a week, two weeks. So I'm not even to get the view. The benefit of the view is not there. I mean, it's just to like, what, to, to... So I keep deleting them. But we want people to see, and that's why we encourage you to download the video. I heard 20 people were riding on Psycho Uno who could not no longer because of his pain. We do not know how many there are. Those are black men. According to Muhammad, they are genie. They were naked and they were writing him. But we do not know really how many there are. 20, 15, we do not know. They were naked, totally naked. And Muhammad, he said, they are so black to the point you cannot even recognize their penis. Right? Uh, anyway, guys, uh, uh, I, I better go for now, otherwise the video will become for many hours as usual. Already it's many hours. I suppose I will be here for 20 minutes, 30 minutes. So I want to say thank you for being here. May the Lord bless you. And I'm grateful to have you all. And I hope that uh, tomorrow we will have better review for this video and you share it. It's very important to tell people why. Uh, why you should not convert to Islam because if Islam is a good value religion the promises of sex should not be there if this God could not convert me to his belief to believe in him without promising me a penis and a vagina obviously he is not God if he could not convince my brain and he tried to convince my penis it's obvious he is not God you do not need to be genius to convince a penis. You can bring the most smart man. He have a PhD. He have his scientist. He have made discovery. He wrote million book. You show him a woman. She is so pretty. He will be tempted. You do not need to be so smart to 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 convince a penis. You do not. But if God, he could not convince me to believe in him, unless through my penis, he is no God. He is a penis God. And that is a very simple logic to defeat Muhammad and his God. If his God is a true God, then true God, he have a value of God. From their fruit, you shall know them. God speak as God, not like a pimp. God act like God, not like a horny, you know, rabbit you know, penis and vagina and the size of the vagina and your orgasm is 70 years. This is not a language of someone is almighty. This is a language of a pimp, a gang person. So you could not convince me to be God and now you are trying to convince my penis. So what about I make my penis convert to Allah and say Shahada and my brain stay with Jesus and my heart? How stupid, how silly. True God? He don't convince people by sex and food and money. And the one who will convince by such a God, he have no brain. He is just nothing but penis and sex and money. And everyone goes where he belongs. Garbage go to garbage, flies go to garbage, bees go to the flower. So you decide where to be. Thank you and God bless you.
This is your brother Christian Prince who is serving you humbly for today. Take care. Have a good day.